working on the. Yep. Hey guys, welcome to Honey Badger Radio. You just like were talking while I was getting prepared to talk. Uh, my name is Brian, talking, and this probably. is <laughs> what? No, I'm just it's like yeah, we're we're meta talking. We're like talking and top of talking. So yeah. Yeah, well, so anyway, welcome to the somewhat casual Sunday fundraising stream where we will be doing uh, a reaction video on behalf of one of our supporters. This one to Shoe on Head, who has made a video called Are Women Okay? And I guess there are some time codes. I, I did watch this, like... A while ago, because this is like old, this is like months old, like at least six months old. Uh, she made it shortly after her video about men, about loneliness in men. And uh, I watched it back then, and I watched some of it today because I wanted to see what was in it because we didn't have any time codes, but now we do. So I'm going to put myself through further torment by watching it a third time. All this right, is just... what I do for you guys. Yes, this is what we do for you. Okay, um, so here's the thing. What did you think of it, Brian? Tell us all. Uh, well, I mean, like, I don't know. We're going to get into it. I guess, like, my, my, the thing that I think about it is that, like, it, there's a stark difference between women's problems and men's problems. <laughs> this, like, at least in, if, we're, if we're using shoes two videos, if it's just those two videos... And that's the measuring stick. There is a stark difference between the stuff that women consider to be problems and the stuff that men consider to be problems. And also, there's a big difference in the amount of, let's say, consideration those grievances get. And if you remember Shu's video about men, there was a lot of hate being thrown at men in the video because they're men and they have all the things and they shouldn't have all the things or whatever it is that they were saying. This video is not like that. It's just women making poor choices and having regrets. And sometimes they're the victim of their choices, but they don't see it that way. So, yeah. Well, I mean, cause I think there's like a, there's two things happening here. I think there's a social narrative that encourages women to look at their situation and not see how it's a result of their own actions and choices. Mm -hmm. So they just sort of, they just sort of render that null, you know? And I wonder yeah. if that really is part of why like religion is beneficial because it, it sort of m helps women make that connection between what they choose and what happens either you call it karma or the wages of sin or whatever but it, it's just a narrative that helps women realize oh when i make this choice that's why i'm experiencing this causal effect from that choice you mm -hmm. know and i think maybe women sort of this is something that they struggle with at least from what i've seen with a lot of women they struggle with it and one of the things that they'll do Pretending not to struggle with it is they'll say they'll take responsibility for something that is so obviously outside of their control in order to avoid responsibility from something that is. And that mm -hmm. and then they'll call that women take too much responsibility. No, dear. You are taking too much responsibility so you can justify taking no responsibility. But so that this is like something that I've noticed that 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 women fall into. I mean, I've fallen into it. I've seen it with with other women as well. It's just this difficulty in connecting your choices and your actions to the effect on your life. Mm -hmm. And um, I think it's also effective of how women do psychologically. So they, they, they see things more in terms of how it affects them and not so much in terms of how their actions create consequences. And it's just yeah. an element of, of female psychology. Can, can show you the receipts, but that's not what this is about. And... Um, so like that 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 uh, that could be a part of that could be a situation where it's biological, but it, I think it's also contributed to by a narrative that encourages women to blame everything on men, and there's no way to get around it. That that is what feminism does. It encourages women to blame everything on men. Everything, the proximal cause of everything, is somehow a man. 
either patriarchal society, male privilege, or a man putting a woman in his psychological thrall. Like, yeah. everything is reduced down to men's actions and choices, rendering women's own actions and choices both morally meaningless and completely impotent. So, it, it, and like, the, the thing is that I think a successful society actually helps women overcome that. Like, a successful society helps men overcome certain things, certain moral failings, like you might see in the, in the Epic of Gilgamesh. A successful society also helps women do the same. What a surprise, right? But anyway, yeah, uh, it helped. Like, you know, a successful society helps both men and women grow up and start working towards the creation and perpetuation of that society. I mean, I, I, I think that this is pretty straightforward. But anyway, this is, although you would say that, oh, this is just stuff that women have constructed for themselves, I think fundamentally that is a huge problem that women face, right? So you're going to say, mm -hmm. okay. Or you have said that okay, this is this is women having constructed bad circumstances for themselves in their life. Well, unfortunately, we live in a society. We live in a society <laughs> that sort of doesn't assist women in making that connection. It doesn't really have a female. Maybe call it a hero's journey. Like we used to. Like fairy tales were full of this, but we don't have that anymore. And so we and we actively encourage women not to make the connection between their actions and their consequences, which means that we sort of encourage women to exist in a box, denying huge parts of themselves and also inevitably becoming becoming victims of their own choices because nobody can yeah. change like men don't have the ability they don't have this society. Women have more control over their lives than they ever have. And then men do, period. So mm -hmm. men don't actually have the ability to stop women from destroying themselves. Even though you can say, well, there's these really hot men who are all having sex with all the women and, you know, getting them pregnant and not paying for the children and causing them to have trauma because they can't get the guy to commit. Yeah, but that's still a, a circumstance constructed by women's choices. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, I would honestly say that's constructed less by men and more by women's competition with each other. But anyway, yeah. we should probably get into the video, right? Because this is... Yeah, we should probably do that because there's a lot of time codes. Um, so before we do, do you want to do the things? Tell people about things that are going on? Yeah, sure. And okay. like, what are we, and what are we doing today? Are we doing the video and we're, and doing yeah, that we're doing live the and then we're... And then we're gonna like go go unlisted after and do Beat Saber, or are we just doing the video? Uh, what we're gonna do is that uh, we're gonna do the video, and then after we're done the video, so get your requests in while we're doing the video. We'll do Beat Saber. Depending on how many requests we get, we'll go for however long it takes to get through them. Um, we will do this video for two hours, right? Set your clock, mm. not doing over that. And whatever remains, we'll devote to whatever uh, song requests we got. And I'll, I'll explain how you can send in song requests in just a bit. And right. if we do make this live on YouTube after the fact, just ignore what I'm saying right now. Because you know, it's not relevant to you if you are watching after that fundraising stream is live. But right, that's why I'm asking. Because a lot of what I was thinking is if this is... I think that there's some value to responding to yeah. this. But if it goes unlisted, nobody gets to see it. And it disappears from yeah. Twitter too. So what I think would be the move would be to do the whole thing, unlist it, and then I can like edit the back end at the back end, like the ending of the video, which is where all the music is at. Yeah, I so. think that's an excellent idea. And now you that's guys what I did with the Jordan Owen thing, thing. So party to our post production, which we're doing in production. So that's that's unique, I think. Um, mm -hmm. All right. So what we'll do is we'll do two hours of this. We'll just start at the beginning and then maybe mm. go to like 14 minutes in. And then if we are not, if we are not at the point where we, um, we, it looks like we're going to be able to finish in two hours, then we'll just go to the time codes. But anyway, right. so in terms of the. So we want to start from the very beginning. Yeah, we'll start from the very beginning. Cause I don't think she was going to hit us with any kind of. Uh, all right. Uh, copyright strikes, but all right. So in terms of the requests, if you want to send in a request, you can do so at uh, feedthebadger.com slash just the tip. 
And um, we, uh, okay, and this is how you do it. First, you have to go to bsaber.com. So the, the requests are for bsaber custom levels. Uh, go to bsaber.com. Whatever song you want me to go through on bsaber, Beat Saber, uh, you then copy the URL of that song. Go to feedthebadger.com slash just the tip. Put the URL in the comment section and send that off to us and I will do that song. Okay, that's how it works. But you have to go to bsaber.com. Get that URL, send it through feedthebadger.com slash just the tip. That is the best way to do it. Guys, it, it has the least amount of problems. It ensures that the song actually exists. Uh, I mean, there still might be an issue where, for whatever reason, the custom level doesn't work or whatever, but that is the best way to do it. So go to bsaber.com, find your song, copy the URL, send it through at feedthebadger.com slash just the tip. And that's what you do now. Okay, and I will tell you about the rest of it later. But let's get into the video. All right, oh, so oh, I'm going to... One more thing. We are doing our monthly fundraiser. That's what this is about. So please go to feedthebadger.com slash just a tip. You don't have to take part in the the Beat Saber fundraising thing, the the uh, Gamified. The gamified. If you yeah. just want to support us and our unique approach, which I'm realizing more and more is completely unique considering how many times people lambast me for it. Um, go to feedthebadger.com slash, slash support and support the show for the month. And just, just to give you guys a rundown, my particular unique approach is what we're dealing with in our society is a total breakdown in the relationship between men and women. And we need that relationship to function to have a functional society. I know this seems strange, but our society doesn't exist if it doesn't get men and women together producing families. Because we're, society is essentially a breeding colony. If people aren't breeding, you don't have a colony. All right? So what I point out is that promoting the idea that men oppress women destroys the relationship between men and women. Yep. Full stop. And that's where this is coming from. Even the intersectionality shit is actually subsidiary to that. So if we want... To have a society worth living in, or a society that exists in the future, we have to challenge and extricate the narrative that men oppress women. That's it. That's my perspective. Um, and, uh, I mean, I'm putting, laying it right out there. There's nothing occult. There's nothing muddy about what I'm saying. I'm just showing you the causal relationship between the universal narrative, like the, the universe, like how we have presented the relationship between men and women and all of the crap that we're seeing today okay so if that is something you feel like you would like to make sure doesn't disappear off this earth go to feedthebadger.com support because we have been able to bring you this message for 10 years because you support us and that's pretty much most of the reason why so feedthebadger.com support all right let's do it all right uh let's play it War. What is it good for? Absolutely nothing. And Raytheon stock. War is a terrible thing, and this war has been happening for a very long time, from before most of us were born, and will be raging on after we're long gone. I'm of course talking about the gender war. Men vs. Women. For those of you who've been following me for the past year, you know of my ongoing research into the man question. From learning how to be a real man, if you're a grown ass man and you wear a seatbelt in the passenger seat, you are likely to be a raging homosexual. <laughs> to judging men's living spaces, men will literally not buy a TV stand but will have two mini fridges. To examining their interesting dating rituals. Wish your toes were in my mouth I mean... right now. I mean, hey. And although this journey is far from over, I decided to take a break to focus on the fairer sex. That's right, the whammon. There are many things women love in this world. Flowers, chocolate, pumpkin spice lattes, cute animals, shopping, complaining and nagging. Am I right, fellas? But above all else- You are. Women love posting their own L's. My cousin, who is younger than me, is getting married today. Meanwhile, I have credit card debt. I am in a toxic situation with one of my exes. Last week, I was so broke that instead of getting an Uber to the airport, I had a random guy from Hinge drive me. And this year, I have had chlamydia twice. What? I think we should stop now. I did. And discuss this. Okay. I mean, this is just... Okay, yeah. 
What do you want to say? I thought I thought that we were going to ignore the time codes. The first time code is one ten. I assume it's that that clip of the. Yeah, I think I think it is that. I, I I'm pretty woman. sure that that series of tremendous bombs is uh, is what is what she was um is what what we were intending to respond to. I don't know what to say. Like, yeah, your life sounds like well, it sucks. Although you I, are able to go to the airport, so presumably you can buy plane tickets. So it can't suck that much. Yeah, yeah, you can travel. But 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 what I was gonna say is, uh, I don't know. I guess we have to just take them at their word because I wonder sometimes if people don't, if women don't post stuff like that because they get attention and sympathy, and maybe it's oh. not actually happening. Like, how are you yeah. in? How have you had chlamydia twice? I mean, why are you telling us? Is actually probably an even more important question. Like, I don't want to know. Why are you telling us about your STDs? And then what do you yeah. expect men to do when they hear that? They're going to be like, well, I'm not messing around with anybody like that. Or it might even change their entire approach to talking to women in general because how like free and open some of them can be with like their own L's, their baggage, their problems, their bad decisions. But whatever. I mean, I don't know what else to add uh, other than avoid that. <laughs> that. Don't be that. <laughs> yeah. Don't be can that you not? Accurate. Can you not? <laughs> yes, right. can you not? All right. Well, do you want me to just play through or go to the, the next time code? Because yeah, there's like an ad. Time. Let's go to the time code because there's like an ad. And uh, let's see, seven minutes in. Well, it looks like there's a lot of, there's a lot of interest in that, that, that gigantic Everest. Um, All right, we'll go here. Um, we'll go here. Okay. This video. And thank you, as always, the viewer, for not skipping the ad. Now yeah, well, I did. Video. Yeah. She probably knows that. Old high school teachers subscribing to them on OnlyFans to posting about their boyfriends cheating on them with their own mothers. Women love posting their own L's. I would know, despite rumors, I am a woman. Now, for the boomer demographic <laughs> who watches me who doesn't know what an L is, an L is a loss and a W is a win. And for the Zoomer demographic that watches me, <clears throat> Gat Gat Ohio Rizzler. <laughs> Actually, no, she forgot to put for real, for real, bus in. But, um. <laughs> yeah, that, 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 that's actually sort of adorable. I, I, you know, despite myself, I do like Shu. Hmm. She's okay. Sending, yeah, so despite her once sending her flying monkeys after me, it's, she not, she's not too bad. Okay, let's She sent going. her flying monkeys after you? It, it was a it was a complicated sort of situation. I basically mm. was calling out the fact that all the politicians were like uh, on Memorial Day when we uh, memorials men men's oh, day. Oh, like, over the over Memorial Day, I remember more, that. Which is, I hate to say, you guys, yeah. it's ninety nine point nine. It's still ninety nine point nine percent men. Yeah, uh, everyone's yeah. like, oh, we, we give, give out to the the men and women who've sacrificed. I'm like, are you kidding me? Well, first mm -hmm. of all, women's sacrifice wasn't compelled legally by politicians. Can we just acknowledge the fact that it's overwhelmingly men who make the sacrifice in war? Because it feels to, it feels like to me, if we don't acknowledge the sacrifices men make for society, we'll end up losing that society. And I think mm -hmm. I did this in like 2019, and guess what happened next year? We start a, a lot of people were, were woke up to the fact that there's something seriously wrong with our society. And I think it yeah. starts with the fact we do not recognize the sacrifices men make to society, which directly leads to the narrative that society somehow benefits men over women, which then directly leads to the narrative that men oppress women for their own benefit, which then directly need, re, leads to the narrative that men hate women, which then directly leads to all of this shit that we're seeing <laughs> in the dating sphere. Okay. Mm hmm that's the causal link, at least in my mind. I mean, I could be completely nuts. Sometimes uh, I wake up in the middle of the night and I'm like, am I completely nuts? Probably. There you go. Well, it might be true, but people are just not ready to look at that right now. Because they're like... Yeah, maybe. They're looking at the stuff All the that's, other options. Well, they look... Yeah, maybe. Or, or they're looking at stuff that's downstream from that and they're not seeing the link between that and what they're, what they're dealing with, right? But they don't think that there's a connection. But, um, okay, so I did get a super chat. I'm going to read it now because otherwise it's going to disappear. From Richard Bier, APP, for five bucks, he says, 
The true mark of the beginning of maturity for modern women will be the realization that there isn't a fairy godmother coming to make their life better. In other circles, it has been stated that true maturity begins when you realize that Superman isn't coming to your rescue. All right. Uh, he was the guy who sent us the request for this video, right? Mm -hmm. All right, Richard Bier. So that's why I thought, yeah, I should knock that out. Okay, thank you. Let's move on. When you try to be petty and request money from your ex and accidentally send it. <laughs> Here's $100 for wasting my time and being a cheater. L. Absolute L. My ex-boyfriend is now gay and my ex-girlfriend is now straight. Call that the <laughs> conversion therapy. When I helped the guy I was in love with get his girl because I thought maybe he'd fall in love with me in the process. No! Why did she think this would work? Life is not TV. You are not the main protagonist of a Hallmark Christmas movie. Just remember the time I went on a first date to the London Zoo, and at the gate he asked if I would mind paying for my own ticket, which I said I would, at which point he pulled out a two-for-one voucher, so I paid for my ticket and he went in for free. <laughs> I had to- <laughs> Oh, no. What? Like, seriously? How is that an L? That just sounds like he's he's frugal. No, uh, yeah, well, he used a two for one, but he made her pay for both tickets. I mean, he didn't make her do anything. Let's no, be he real. Didn't, he he just he didn't. just said, "Let's." Well, no, that's what I'm saying. This is all like a lot of this is just women like waiting without asking for men to just do things. Sometimes even like pretending to be. Like the opposite of that in the hopes that the men will like they're just shit testing them and then and the men mm -hmm. I guess fail by saving money. <laughs> I don't know. I I think I that know. they I, like I think it's a win for the men, yeah. I mean look, this is the society they wanted. I'm sorry. Like you get what you get, you know? Yeah. Honestly, so, yeah, it's just it's it, don't worry about it. It's that's a lot of chutzpah, though, you don't you think? I mean, wouldn't that be slightly charming? I mean, it depends on how he did it, like with like a wing. I don't know. Thing. Maybe, <laughs> maybe she does think so, but I, I don't know. I, I, I'm not trying to get into women's heads. Um, it, all right, more of this. Yeah. It says I had to break up with him. Our something, our signs weren't compatible, is what she's saying. Break up with her. Our signs weren't compatible. Once again, here we go. Astrology is racism for white women. I'm a Gemini. And he what? told me not to flush when I peed at his house what? to save money, so I obliged until I went through his Discord and found pics of him drinking it. Oh! God! <laughs> yeah? Hello? Oh my god, that's- that's- that's pretty fucked up. Mm -hmm. I, yeah. I don't know, like, I, I don't know how to respond to that, like- Well, so yeah, weird. I think drinking pee is fucked up, but like... Yeah, it's still a lot. Excuse the fuck out of me if I have an opinion on that. So, you know, enjoy, I guess. Yeah. Do what you want. Yeah, I think that's the way it's supposed to be now. We're not allowed to really shame people for their kinks. Yeah, no. Something. Yeah, just put them on the internet. It's cool. Yeah, there you go. Oh, no. I invited him to the crib, cooked for him, gave him the sloppiest neck you can manifest in your mind, let him fold me like an origami bird, called him an Uber, then blocked him and never spoke to him again. I really beat him to the punch. We are learning the game too fast. Wow, you sure showed him. When I broke up with a white boy and he deleted his stop Asian hate story on guys. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> He stopped. <laughs> he stopped supporting oh, stop Asian hate. It's, That's great. Like, what? What the hell is wrong with people? Like, you don't mm -hmm. even just let it. No, maybe maybe that was just a joke. Maybe that. I, was well, that's the thing. Like, who knows if any of these are real? Like, we. Yeah. I'd be like, there's no way of knowing. Like, you know, people people just post like stuff to see what sticks. Especially, I don't. I don't think this is. Maybe this was going on back then, but like, no, some of these are older, but like, especially now that like, you know, if you get like a, a lot of engagement on Twitter, you can make money. So why wouldn't you just like say the most outrageous shit? So it, but like, let's, for the sake of the video that we have to do, let's pretend that all of these are real for sure. And then react to them as if they are, even though we don't know for sure. So, I mean, it's not serious face. Well, I, not. I mean, I'm not gonna get too serious. Just you know, enough. Um, 
All right, let's yeah, All let's right. play some more. So, guys, is my friend got banned from Tinder because she'd show up to dates without makeup, and the dudes kept reporting her as a catfish. Oof. Oof. I don't know. I've always quickly shown <laughs> the men I've dated what I look like without makeup because I figure if you don't love me at my naked faced gremlin, you don't deserve me at my 2006 MySpace mid e girl. <laughs> I yeah. Boxy. You don't deserve me at my boxy. Um, yeah. If you don't like me as my gremlin, you don't deserve me at yeah. my boxy. It, it, was it ever <laughs> determined that she was indeed boxy? No, 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 no. But she, she's she got... It's just because she's got the same, like, you know, General fucking... Um, the same emo, like, you know, uh, Avenge Sevenfold haircut and, like, eyeliner. It's the eyeliner. You know, she's got like the the what do they call them? The wings, you know, the, yeah. the eyelashes, the 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 same eyeliner and makeup, but it's not the same person. No. I okay. wanted this man to be vulnerable with me for so long. He finally called me yesterday and opened up, but the second he started crying, I lost all interest in him quickly. Women be like, men need to show their You're emotions like till a man shows their emotions. I told. Yeah, <laughs> it's got a point. Mm -hmm. Like, well, yeah, yeah. Yeah, part for the, the course. Rest of the rest of the tweet was this is this is a safe space, but it's not that safe. Okay, so the, basically, I want you to open up your emotions, but if you do, I'm going to lose all sexual interest in you. Mm-hmm. <sighs> yeah, women yeah, need to just, get over that. Men, men just don't just just don't do what they ask. They don't really they want you to do the things they're asking you to. Out of that, yeah, just well, but here's the thing, like. Do we want to just tread water for the rest of until our civilization implodes, or do we want to actually learn? Well, I, I think that shit? no, I think we should learn to overcome shit. I'm just saying, like in the meantime, you know, yeah. until the meantime, they figure it out, yourself. like protect yourself. Yeah, yeah that's all. Like, until until women, we women figure out how to have a man open up to them emotionally and still desire him sexually, until mm -hmm. they cross that bridge and fix that fucked up wiring in their brain. Perhaps keep it keep it in your in your your cockle subcocular region. You know what I mean? That no, I get what you're yeah. saying, Brian. Yeah. Keep it in All the right. cockles. Let's let's do it. Told my husband not to buy me a Christmas present. I'm fuming that he actually isn't. Do not. I repeat, do not listen to women when they say this. Oh, I'm going to McDonald's. Do you want anything? No. Bullshit. Get them fries. I will never forget this guy I was seeing didn't text me back for three days. And when he finally texted me, I was like, are you okay? And he was like, yeah, I was just watching The Sopranos. <laughs> to be fair, I've been watching The Sopranos with Lindsay. It is, it does hook you in. It is good TV. Mm -mm -mm. That is good television. If you guys in the chat, if you guys watch The Sopranos, uh, I recommend it. I'm on season two, so I don't know if it gets worse. You know, these TV shows, they like, they can get to the point where, you know, because they're popular, they have to keep producing episodes. And so they run out of things to talk about or plot lines to follow. But, but right now it's, it is good TV. I could see, I could see it, but Lindsay watches it with me. So, you know, I don't have to worry about that. I don't think women like gangster things. I don't know if you like, do you know, Allison, do you watch gangster movies? Like. You know, or shows? Are you not into that? Um, not particularly. There was like uh, a I whole. Mean, like, I'm not. I'm not gonna turn yeah, it go off. Ahead. Like, I mean, some gangster movies I don't mind watching. I'm not particularly fond of the 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 genre. Perhaps. Yeah. Is it because like, the I, there's too much like I don't know like there's like killing in it and stuff and it's like showing corruption and things like that. Is that why? Is it just too dark? I don't think it's because it's too dark because I do like westerns. Um, I just think that the uh, maybe the um, the philosophical themes don't resonate with me, perhaps. But I mean, mm. like, I don't I don't have a problem with it either. Like, uh -huh. I, I will watch it. You know, I, it's just not. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I yeah, I, I think that you're probably just like if it's a good story, you're probably not going to care what the themes are. The yeah, story no, is good, the, the, right? Yeah, the story's good. It's just that, um, I mean, Gangster has a particular, I guess, thematic range. It's about, um, in, in some ways it's similar to Western because it's sort of like challenging the individual versus society, except in a more... A criminal way? 
criminal way, yeah. So I yeah. mean, we have the with the Western, it's the individual frontiersman versus the encroachment of you know civilization. Whereas the gangster, the civilization is sort of entrenched, and he's like a corrupt element within it. Uh, at the same yeah. time, as he's defying its rules. You know, I mean, there's there's similarities, and the level of violence tends to be similar. Cynicism, darkness. I think the darkness is probably greater in gangster movies. I just, I, I, I'm just. Well, I will say this I'm about the. I'm not as fond of gangsters. I don't know. No, I, I'm not. Yeah, I'm. I mean, I, I'm not a big fan of them as people, but like. It, but I will say for The Sopranos, actually, what's interesting is that there are some interesting character dynamics happening, specifically between, at least right now, the main character, Tony Soprano, and his mother. And that is a really, in like, his mother is, like, just the worst person, right? And And it's just, it is kind of interesting to watch because she's... Like, you know, old and bedridden, or supposedly, but she still has tremendous power over, like, everybody. And that, and that's the thing that, like, really keeps me coming back is just, it's not just about them, but that's, like, a big thing. Like, his mom is like, oh, my God, what a, what a piece of work. <laughs> that's all I'll say. But anyway, uh, let's, let's play some more. When you are on your third kid and third baby daddy at 23, it's oh the hypersexual personality with a breeding kink for me. Okay, for the last and time, you do not have a breeding kink. kink. That is called being a woman. It is not, not a fetish. fetish. <laughs> what? Um, wow. Yeah. Three babies, three baby daddies. Yep. Uh, I Here I thought it was the men that had the ability to, like, have lots of kids with lots of different women, and the women were the ones that had the limiting factor. <laughs> Well, apparently not in our Ooh. society. Nope. No, nope. not now. Not in this shameless society where women cannot do anything wrong. It's probably the men's fault. They should all be stepping up. This is what you would hear. You know, if all those men would just step up and raise those kids. Anyway, that's, you know what? That's actually not that bad. Like, there are women out there with, like, 9, 10, 11 kids that are that, with different fathers. And the fathers are not around. They don't even know where they are or they don't. They're not talking to them or whatever. So and no and the more you have, by the way, the more unlikely, not 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 impossible, but unlikely that a man is gonna be like, Yeah, I wanna raise your kids, you know? <laughs> so ugh. Yeah. It okay. came free with your genetics. Someone just asked my due date. I am not pregnant. A reminder, once again, that unless a woman tells you she is pregnant, please don't assume. It's really hurtful. Oh God, do not do this. I have seen this actually happen in real life. The internet will never know when I'm pregnant, by the way. They'll just have to assume I'm eating good. I was talking to this guy I met on- <laughs> I think that mostly women do that though. Like they'll, they yeah. will, like that's something that men don't do to women. Women do that like to women. It sounds like sort of like a, a sort of a, a backhanded kind of insult. Yeah, you know, uh, it's funny, Lauren Chen posted on Twitter today, I saw her post on Twitter, she said that if if a woman, she says, if a woman uh, makes a recommendation that you try cutting your hair short, I'm just going to tell you that that's actually uh, a subtle form of intersexual competition, you can't change my mind about that. <laughs> that's what, and I was like, wow, she's starting to see the intersexual competition, that's, that's nice, or at least be honest about it. Um... So yeah, if women ask you, oh, you know what? You probably look really nice with like a really short haircut. Um, you view them with suspicion, ladies. You They're probably crazy. trying to like make you look masculine so that you're less mm. attractive. Okay. I I got my husband when I was looking my most masculine though. So Yeah. Who knows? I, I mean, make it work it, it's, yeah, I mean, men still know like cutting your hair short doesn't make you a man. Like. It, mm. it, lesbians are proof of that. Men still can tell you're a woman, like by looking. Yeah. So. Yeah. Even yeah. trans well, men, like I'm starting to figure out when I see them, I'm like, oh, that's a trans man. Like I can tell now. I don't. There's something different about them in the face. They're still mm -hmm. neotenous, is what I'm saying. They're still neotenous. So it's still a little slight bit of it, and it's not the kind yeah. of neotony that. Especially if they're old and people. they have like this kind of like you know their their beard hairs, like they're really working to grow it out, but it's like kind of wispy and and thin and fine and i'm like that's a woman anyway um let's yeah, continue well <laughs> sorry just before we before we continue like um yeah you know, there was something i wanted to say 
And now I just have to extra. Is it about intersexual the, competition? From the boxes. Of, yes. A lot of this stuff is intersectional competition. That's what I think that really trips up conservatives when they try to tell men, well, why don't you just man up more and solve mm -hmm. this problem? It's like, well, or, or traditionalists, whatever you want to call the people who are constantly like, well, men, women are doing something. Men need to man up more. Instead yeah. of actually holding the women to account, you know, like you're supposed to with a functioning religion. Um, the, but the, the idea that this is totally out of men's hands, this people struggle with that. And, and that's why they don't want to talk about the female intersectional competition, because that means it's totally out of men's hands. Mm -hmm. It's something that only women can manage and deal with. Mm -hmm. So. I just want to point that out. It, it 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 is it is a struggle. That particular part is a big struggle to get people to realize that. Um and and female female intersectional competition, men can't do anything about it. Like if women decide to under, undermine each other's relationships, they can do that, and there's nothing the man can do. Which is sort of why you have to be careful about not just the woman, but also her friend circle. Because if she has a lot of um, single friends, they may become jealous of the fact that she has a man and a relationship and has move movement in her life, not just like a dead end mid middle management job and a chihuahua, you know, and they can become jealous of that and then want to destroy it. And then that toxic influence will become, <sighs> women are really good at poking women's insecurities. Let's put it that way. Yeah, they're really good at poking those buttons and and poking the button sequence, like mashing, like in Hell Divers, the button button sequence for self destruct in women. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. And there's nothing men can do when that happens. On Tinder, having the best conversations while we sipped on our boba, but when he found Ugh. out my body count was close to triple digits, the conversation got quiet. He ghosted me after and blocked my Instagram, Snapchat, and TikTok. Do all guys really care that much? Maybe I should start telling my dates that I'm a virgin instead. Yes, guys care that much. And not just guys, and especially triple digits. If you're somebody who takes sex seriously and you think it's a special thing or you're a virgin or you yourself have a low body count, it's perfectly acceptable to care about body counts. But if you a hoe or if you a man hoe and you care about the other person's body count, you're a fucking hypocrite. But I feel like even if you are a hoe or a man hoe with like a 20 something body count, I feel like you could still judge someone who's in the triple digits. How do you even meet that many people? I, I don't even know 15 people. I'm gonna give- <laughs> he's, he's got a point. Like, I, I don't understand that myself. Like, I don't even like talking to people in public, you know? Yeah. Like, somebody well, I, I certainly don't like talking to people about my sexual history. Like, I that's- see somebody walking down is the our, our, Is nothing like, personal? Like, it's like, can- to avoid them. Yeah. Don't like, can you- can, can we have some mystery in our relationship? Like, so- I mean, look, I, I guess, like, a, a man, I think the thing is, this is the thing that I think is interesting about this, is that there is an assumption that men are so sexual that a woman with a lot of partners is either going to be viewed as, by men, as uh, indifferent, like, with indifference, or with, like, I don't know, maybe, like, glee, like, oh, wow, you're so sexually active, I love that, right? That's just not true of like most men. Like most men, they don't need to have virgins, but I think most men within reason are like, well, yeah, I mean, like, depending on the age, like if if you know, if you're like dating at 16, that you're hoping that the girl is like really inexperienced because you're probably really experienced, inexperienced. If you're in your 20s, you're hoping that the girl has some experience, right? It doesn't even have to be sexual. Um, because like the more partners a woman has had, the and or a person has had in general, I would even say men, you know, I won't even exclude men from that equation, then the more you have to wonder, it's like a person with a job application and and on there they have like five jobs, but they've worked at those jobs for like a week. You know, are you gonna hire that person? <laughs> like, you know, are you gonna hire the person who's had one job for 10 years and then you're he's like applying for the same position in your company? I like I I don't, I don't even, I'm not even shaming anybody. I'm just saying it's common sense. 
But there is this idea that men are just like that they've been that women have been fed this idea that men are just like super sexual and therefore, you know, they're going to be okay with whatever. Like like they should be grateful, mm. you know. Yeah, I I remember I I talked about that like a while back, the whole mm -hmm. you know, if you got like a CV and you have like triple digit jobs on it and you show that to your yeah. prospective employer, they're going to yeah, probably it's... be like what the hell are you doing with your life? Yeah, and it's What's not it's not I I it's not about like, you know, it it's not to say that the male penis is dirty and women are made dirty by it or anything like that. It's it's that the woman is so like casual with this that if a man thinks that sex matters to him, like if he's if he and I'm not saying it has to be like super puritanical. I mean, just like somebody who thinks that it's special well, the woman obviously doesn't think it's as special and the man is always going to be wondering, you know, like, what, well, what kind of commitment is this? So I think it, it's just, yeah. and there's just data that says, you know, more partners means probably not going to be as committed, you know. Although so. it's interesting because there's, a, there's this interesting factor. So if a woman has had no other partners besides you, the, the, that is probably the highest rate of, staying together or mm -hmm. if the people have had no other partners but each other that's the highest rate but the next highest rate seems to peak at three to seven for some reason so it goes down for like uh one additional partner to like th uh two additional partners and then it goes up for three to seven I i'm not exactly sure why maybe it's because um i, I you know what i can't even tell you but but for some reason if i think you, they're want to, yeah, if, if you want the it might be FOMO. Likelihood. Yeah, yeah. Like if there's a significant previous relationship, there might be mm -hmm. too much tie to that. But regardless, if you want the most chance of having a long term relationship, you either date someone who you are both um, each other's first, or you know one of you is each other's first. You know, or you date someone with like three to seven partners. <laughs> Oh, no mm -hmm. only knows why, but there you go. There, there are your, there are your winning lottery numbers. Yeah, I mean, I, I think ultimately it comes down to like, you know, we can look at the numbers and we can make educated guesses about the ability of a relationship based on those numbers. But it also kind of comes down to like what, in the in the case of a woman, for example, what are the conditions for her um, either being chased or being like i don't know promiscuous and it could be because they feel like that like for them it's like a statement like they're rebelling against their dad or something and they're just like i'm gonna bang everything in sight those women should be avoided not because they're having a lot of sex but because of like why they're doing it right um <laughs> but if it's someone who's just like tried to make it work and they fa failed and maybe they're just too quick to sleep with people then, you know, maybe there's, like, a different consideration there. Like, I'm willing to allow for that, but uh, at the end of the day, if men just want to play it safe and, and it, it matters to you, then it should matter to you. You're allowed to have that, so. Um, Richard Beer gave us five bucks and says, remember when girls used to keep a lock on their diary or journal and then place it in a lockbox and then lock that in a safe that was harder to get into than whatever thing that people would keep a firearm in? A black box on a plane. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. no, I remember. I remember when there was a sort of a premium put on privacy and uh, not wanting certain thoughts to be aired. Mm -hmm. Apparently, we're not in that age anymore. We're in the age well, of being as deep as a puddle. Yeah, I suppose. I mean, I think a lot of people are still pretty secretive, but the ones that put their info out there tend to get the attention. All right, let's play some more. Give this one a W because I'm just impressed. That's that's just impressive. When I got pulled over for speeding and the nice officer said I could just show him a picture of license instead because I forgot my wallet and watched me scroll past multiple boob pictures and I couldn't tilt my phone the other way because my dad was in the other seat. Okay, there is nothing more stressful and anxiety inducing than handing someone your phone to show them a picture and you're just like, <laughs> okay. Okay, give it back. Because if they accidentally swipe, they're going to be seeing your hentai horse futa. 
Am I right? Who among us does not have that on their phone? I remember. Okay. <laughs> I don't, but okay. I don't either. I, and actually, there's nothing on my phone. There's just like memes. That's. I think I have the best phone. It's just memes. <laughs> Me. I have video clips of me reacting to stuff, dog and cat photos, and pictures of dogs I have, and cats. Yeah, I have pictures of phone. JoJo and memes. That's all I have. Yeah, like I think there's pretty, like one picture of Lindsay on there. So. It's it's pretty it's pretty tame. My my pictures. Yeah. Um. I think it's the way to go. Yeah, I think that just, I think that be, phone memory was made for memes. I mean, I'm yeah, just boring. <laughs> you know, like just yeah. just. Just your meme repository. Well, I, just, I don't really have you know, in there. Yeah. I also have pictures of like our water meter or or, or natural what? gas meter. Oh yeah, no, just pictures. Yeah, just like Yeah, I, I understand. Like, Sometimes you yeah, gotta report but, that. Yeah, no, on your taxes and shit. Like that that's but that's I mean, aside from being a little bit confusing, but also like pictures of things that we need to get. You know, like, oh, I need sure. to get these pills. You know that kind of stuff. Yeah, like when I go to the when I go to the grocery store for Lindsay, and she's asking me to get stuff, I send I take pictures of stuff on the shelf to make sure I'm getting the right thing. Because she'll be like, "Just get yeah. pickles." And then I'll go to the aisle where the pickles are, and it's like this giant section, and they're like and all different kinds: kosher, dill. They're they're like the spears and the and the thin sliced ones and the mini thin ones. Thin sliced sauerkraut. Thin sliced sauerkraut. Have you had those? Those are really no, good. no. I I, I mm. maybe maybe I don't know. But the, the, so I'm like, if I pick one, it's going to be the wrong one. So I'm just going to take a picture of the whole section and yeah. send it and be like, okay, which one is it? <laughs> Circle one. Circle one. Yeah. You know, and this is like, how do you tell? How do you tell the age of the people whose phone you yeah. picked up? Like the absence of boob and genital pictures in the presence yeah. of things from the marketplace. Hey, honey, exactly. what you want? <laughs> hey, is this avocado ripe or not? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Shall um, we take it? I don't Shall know. We take it? Shall we take a risk on this melon? This is the sound it makes. Yeah, exactly. Oh, you know what? Shit. I bought a cantaloupe today and I didn't check. So I don't know oh. if it's good. She, I'm going to find out. I'm going to find, yeah, gonna find oh, out. Oh, my yeah. God. It's the cantaloupe. She's going to open it and it's going to be like, I'm going to be in trouble. All right. Well, anyway, let's, let's play some more. I remember one time I was so obsessed with a boy that I found out his address, his mom and dad's number. I would call his mom and when she answered, I would make up lies about him so he got his phone taken away so he didn't talk to other girls. I found his family members' names, how many times he moved houses, what schools he went to, found all his family photos, found all the girls he messed with so I could become friends with them. What's crazy is- No, her. That's what. <laughs> yeah, just... yeah, somebody needs Ooh. to- Oof. Uh. Wow. That's not, right, you know what? Just don't do that again, whoever you are. Just let it fade into your background. Yeah. Um, and just uh, don't post this on the internet. Just let it be something that you, at the middle of the night, you wake up and you're like, why the fuck did I do that? <laughs> you know, it's just, mm -hmm. you know, some things are just, some things you should just keep in the deep recesses of your mind and only think about them at three in the morning when you can't sleep. Don't don't put them out on the internet. You don't have to put everything out on the internet. This is this is a lesson I think a lot a lot of women and girls could use. Sometimes, don't click send. Just click delete. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. As men will look at this and they'll be like. I could fix her. Okay, so when I was in third grade, I had a crush on this guy, but he had a crush on this other girl, and I cried about it to my mom, and my mom was like, who cares? They're not gonna get married. And that made me feel better, until I saw today that they did, in fact, get married. This reminds me when How people are, are like, How oh... Old are <laughs> How old are you? Like, seriously. Well, yeah, I mean, how long ago was this? How Maybe... long ago was this? Go ahead. You still have a crush on this guy? Like... No, I think that she, no, I don't think she does. Uh, what I'm thinking is, though, is that she was angry because he was into somebody else. And so she hoped that he would never, like, become, be happy. And, and then, and yet he was. And she's not happy for him because she posted that. That's like, so it's like, oh, well, you like that other chick. You don't like me. Well, I hope it doesn't work out. And she wouldn't told her mom. And her mom was like, well, they're not going to get married. Like, the mom was in on it, you know, in terms of this, like, thing in her head. And then later she finds mm -hmm. out that he did get married to her. And instead of saying, well, I'm happy for you, she's like, I'm going to post this on social media. 
<laughs> yeah. Well, like, I don't know. Don't worry, like, your school honestly, bully is going to be fat and all that. Hmm? Could you imagine a man doing that? My my dad said they won't get married. Nobody would care. No one would, yeah. No, no, no one it would, would give it, any kind of positive attention He'd to probably get totally shit on for even caring about yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to go either way. Some things yeah. I've... Sometimes you get some sense in some of the, like, the Reddits about relationships. I was actually pleasantly mm -hmm. surprised by one uh, recently. I'll send it to you. We can look at it, maybe, if we have time. But, uh, yeah, it was, a, it was a reasonable reaction to some, a woman who was doing something incredibly nasty to a man. And also sort of abusive. Well, no, definitely abusive. Um, okay, so anyway, let's keep going. Oh, wait, 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 before we keep no. going. What? Sorry, sorry. Um, guys, get those super chows in. Feedthebadger.com slash just the tip. We got one request. We need a couple more. So send in those song requests. Go to bsaber.com. Find your song request. Go to feedthebadger.just the tip. Put that URL to your song request in the comment and send it off. Or just tell us what you think. Your thoughts on this video that we're doing. I mean, mostly it, it, this has been sort of a very light response, I think. Wouldn't you agree, Brian? This has not been something that's... No too stressful there isn't no 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 not a lot going on here not a lot that's too like freaking I mean, it's freakish. pretty it's pretty just like i guess it's just sort of generally entertaining mm -hmm. but so anyway yeah. go to feedthebadger.com slash just the tip and send us a message you know tell us what you think about this content and uh yeah do that okay let's keep going all right like <laughs> Don't worry, your school bully is gonna be fat and ugly in the future. No, my school bully is a f***ing bodybuilder now. She could kick my ass. It's important to remember that you were not the main character, and sometimes good things happen to people you do not like. L, and honestly, you're 27 years old. Time to move on from your third grade crush. A guy I was hooking up with told me I was getting chubby and I should eat less. I just ate an entire f***ing pizza. F*** you, Brian. Oh no. <laughs> God. Don't do that. Uh, like revenge, revenge eating. Like what is that? <laughs> what the hell's wrong with women? No, no, no! Do mm. not do this. Do not spite eat to get back at someone calling you fat. You go to the gym and you get. Okay. What is happening? What is she in there? Chicago? The guy are really. What? You want to say something? No, I'm just. She's got a point. Don't, don't, don't. Don't give yourself, like, coronary plaque because someone called you fat. <laughs> or, or, like, arterial plaque. You know, that's, that's yeah. not the way to go. I, I, I gave myself a heart attack at the age of 35. Thank you, Bob, for calling me fat. There, that's your... Uh, I got back at you. Like, no, you didn't. You did not. No. Okay, all right. Really like ghosted me because I posted a TikTok about guys with piercings and he didn't have any. Honestly, kind of the man's L here. Women will often talk about what they're attracted to and what their type is. And they'll talk about like what men they find handsome and like men who like that woman will like constantly obsessively compare themselves to those features and those people. They'll be discouraged because they don't look anything like them. Like maybe she likes blonde hair and maybe he has brown hair. But if she likes you, she will make an exception. And maybe she's attracted to things she didn't even know she was attracted to until she met you. Congratulations to the man. It's sort of a white pill. It's true. I guess, Women yeah. Women don't know what they really want. That's why they make these extensive scary lists. Um, mm hmm but in many cases, I think what they want is, honestly, I think women do themselves a disservice. I think they just want masculine company. And mm -hmm. uh, they've, got, they've constructed this whole edifice in their mind that justifies their cowardice. Because, you know, being with someone requires courage. Simple as that. Genuinely yep. committing to someone requires courage. All right. Right. man who had matched with me the moment I told him I was a journalist. Keep it classy, middle America. Also, guess whose name I'm running through the court records tonight. 
What a Chad. Do not date journos. You unmatched me on Tinder, so now I'm gonna run your name through the courts. Okay, psycho. Oh, of course she worked for Jezebel. <laughs> Rest in piss. Women- Right. <laughs> Wait, what does it oh, say there? Oh, of course she worked for Jezebel. <laughs> right. Jezebel, Jezebel was shut down shut after down 16 years. Yeah, years. Jezebel was shut down. Um, no, but like, yeah, that's that's a... Okay, that is, that is this man has escaped. He has, he has he did. escaped. He did. Dodged a bullet. Like a rat out of an aqueduct. Like a greased rat out of an aqueduct. He has escaped. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he has escaped dan danger. All right. Rest in piss. Women need to start using men for sex. Sleep with them and block them. Give them a taste of their own medicine. Who wants to tell her? No, but really, not all men do that, so now you're just contributing to the cycle of abuse. Do not do this, woman L. My boyfriend said he was into BDSM, yeah, that, that is so a he- good point, like, cause you got two, two, two outcomes from that, all right? The guys who do that aren't gonna care, and the guys who care and wouldn't do that are going to be damaged by your behavior. Mm hmm So, yeah, like, why contribute to the cycle? Okay. Yeah. I agree. There's nothing I'm disagreeing with her on yet. No, no, there isn't a lot of that in this. He'd have me doing burpees, planking, wall sits, and push-ups. I was into it, and he said he loves watching girls get pushed to their physical and mental limits when they submit to him. Then after a few months of this, he admitted he was just trying to get me in better shape because he didn't like having sex with me as much as he did at my old weight. Should I be offended? <laughs> Okay, this one is just funny. Wait, what are these ages? 18 and 29. My old weight? Me and my boyfriend were hanging a TV <laughs> and I told him to just let me do it. And now there's 30 holes in the wall. How do I tell him I need him to do it? Let your man do man things. Men were- Yeah. Pause for the banana. <laughs> oh God. Yeah, that we do have to pause for the banana periodically. Mm -hmm. Um, that is, uh... <laughs> like women like to do that i have noticed that uh like oh i can do this oh no i can't and then you can't actually admit to it so you're stuck yeah you're stuck with a wall full of holes that you can never mention again for the rest of your life you just have to walk past it averting your eyes <laughs> hmm. oh god oh, otherwise you lose the relationship with you, brian you lose the relationship that, yeah. That's an instant, that is an instant fail. If, if you ever acknowledge that you did something stupid as a woman. Instant oh, fail. yeah, of course. Yeah, instant, instant fail. Can't do it. Cannot do it. All right. <sighs> or, and hunting. And now they're stuck in cubicles for eight hours a day doing Microsoft Excel. The least you could do is let a man hang a damn TV. I don't care if you can open the jar yourself Give it to him. Men in captivity need to feel like they have a purpose or else they die. Do you notice that men are no longer persuasive? Once they ask you out on a date and you say no, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well. Dude, Jesus, good Lord. Why aren't they trying? I mean, they only run the risk of going to jail, losing their job. <laughs> internalized how many dozens of don't be that guy campaigns like, yeah no means no yes means no getting on top of you and inserting you into her means no like all of these campaigns like it, th that has no effect what did you what did what did women expect would happen when they allowed the the dominant voice for their interest to pursue these campaigns what did they think would happen as a result of pursuing these campaigns to make mm -hmm. men supposedly respect the no. What do they think? Yeah. I thought no meant no. Exactly. These guys are told when a woman says no, that means no. And they're correct. So if you say no, you better f***ing mean no. Apparently, like, a large percentage of men aren't even approaching women anymore. The amount of TikToks I have seen of women secretly filming men hitting on them and the men are not even being creepy. They're being pretty normal. Maybe they're a bit awkward. And the caption's like, this creep was hitting on me. Whoa, how dare him? Like, how do you think your parents met? How are people supposed to- Well, I can tell you the truth about that, Shu. Um, the truth is, women decide a man is creepy if the man is not attracted to them. 
attractive to them. That's it. It's not about the behavior. It's not about the approach. It's about, is he attractive? If she doesn't find him attractive, no matter what his approach is, it will be, it could be interpreted as creepy. And it often is, especially from women who have a, let's say, inflated sense of entitlement. If that man's not in the top five, top 1% of men, then guess what? I mean, there's a whole math video about this, <laughs> so I don't really need to go into it. But that's what it is, Shu. To meet people nowadays, Tinder? Like, you can't just walk up to a girl or guy you think is cute anymore. You have to be swiping on them. I am afraid we have me too a little too close to the sun, and now the men are afraid of speaking to us. I asked my boyfriend if he wanted to rail me, and he said he was too tired. So we went to bed, and I literally woke up to him jerking it. Honestly, I can't decide whose L this is. Is it her L because he didn't want to have sex with her? Or is it his L for being too lazy? Perhaps she lays there like a dead fish? I don't know. Maybe... Just, Work out Maybe your issues in private. Yeah, what? yeah, make it. This is another issue. Like, just do this privately. Just like, we've lost the, the art of privacy. We lost the art of keeping our mouths shut. Just recognizing that relationships aren't um, plays. They aren't like put yep. on for the edification of an audience. You're not, uh, what is that guy? Like, Jim Carrey guy? You're not uh, the one who's Jim every Carrey. waking moment. Yeah, Jim Carrey, like he was, a, he played a character's every waking moment was on television. Oh, um, I never saw it, but I know the one you heard. Yeah, I know yeah, the one. Yeah, that movie. Ed Harris is in it. Yeah. Yeah, we're not. I don't know why I'm. F <sighs> yeah. Yeah, I'm not blanking on the movies, the movie trivia. Yeah, usually you're really good at that. I'm usually, usually really good about this, but I've never seen that one. I know, I know it. It's just. Yeah, I, I don't remember. It's okay. I'm sure somebody in the chat is going to tell us right away. So as soon as it comes up. Um, the Truman Show. The Truman ah, Show. Ah, yeah, the yeah. Truman Show. Thank you, Night Motorcycles. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, We're Truman not, Show. You, you, guys, you guys don't, like, you don't have to make every detail of your relationships public. In fact, you probably yeah. shouldn't. Because that's, you know, creating intimacy requires a certain amount of privacy. So if you make every aspect of your relationship public, you are removing all intimacy from it. Yeah. Um, so there you go. Like, just don't do that. Like, do you, like she said, deal with it. Deal with it in private, amongst yourselves. We need to learn the art of privacy. Yeah, we that was when they the were trying to make. Uh, they were trying to make Jim Carrey into the new. Bo um, uh, what is his name? Uh, Tom Hanks. You know where they had the funny guy doing the serious movies, and I guess he was in that, and, like the Majestic and um, the Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. They were trying to make that happen, but it didn't happen. Um, and that's okay with me, because, I don't know, I liked him in the mask, so, anyway, um, let's play some more. Private, why is this even on TikTok? Wait, no, on second thought, do not work them out in private, this is great content, please do keep posting. I got asked on a date today, and I blocked the guy, because he asked me what I wanted to do, instead of just telling me. Listen, there is a reason women are so indecisive about things, about where to go, and especially about what to eat. It is in our blood. Back in the caveman times, we didn't have a choice. You hunted the mammals and you dragged them back to the cave. And that is what we ate. So you choose. You bringing home Chipotle is the modern man bringing home a mammoth carcass. One time I was gonna have sex with this dude after mm -hmm. a concert and we went to shower off and I did this naked little jig and went, it's time to wash me holes and he made me go home. <laughs> uh that's funny no <laughs> no don't fumble the quirky girl no i'm out eating with this guy and he took the bill and i offered to pay and he said okay here <laughs> i love this trend of women being like i want this and men being like okay and women being like wait no not like that for the love of god just say what you mean men do not know how to play these <laughs> This is not a new trend, Chu. This is like women, no, like since the beginning of time. I, I bet that there were like the cavemen. I bet I can imagine in my head, um, you know, Throck the caveman dragging his piece of the uh, of the woolly mammoth. And he's like, oh, you know, I bring I bring my wife. I got thigh of mammoth. And he like lays it down. And the wife is like, I wanted the foot, you know, like <laughs> just like, could we just, could I, could I have had a different part? Can I have the trunk, you know? And, and the guy's like, I go, I'll go back, you know, and he has to go back out. I could see it. 
I, I'm, I, like, this is just the way, it's not a new thing, Shu. This is just the way women have been probably since the beginning of time. Since we were, we had tails and we were hanging around in trees, probably. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. Mind games. These boys autistic out here. A guy wrote to me on Tinder calling me quite the catch because I like nachos and always sunny. So I wrote back saying, well, if you're impressed by that, you should see my tits. And he unmatched me. I literally have no idea what men want. See <laughs> it's not always about that. See, I, you know, there's something kind of, is it, is it just me or is there something a little bit? I think that some men could find it a little bit dehumanizing that women. Yes would think of them only as sexual beings. You know, when men, especially yes. when men are trying to like share something with you that's, you know, cultural, like, oh yeah, I watched this show or I read this book or I listened to this band or whatever it is. And the woman's like, what about vagina? And the, guy, and the guys are like, well, wait a minute. Can we like context? Like I'm not there yet. Was this on social Tinder or something? Like, were they Probably. talking? Yeah. I don't know. Well, um, I think part of it is that uh, because of the way that our mating, assorting, uh, assort, like how we assort ourselves now in terms of our mating, we've allowed apps to take over. That yeah. Maybe it's like really turned everything into the lowest common denominator and nobody really explains anymore how to approach men in terms of an actual intimate emotional relationship, you know, mm -hmm. and to realize that that's going to turn off, that could turn off a guy who isn't, who sees sex in the context of an intimate emotional relationship rather than something, mm -hmm. an entertainment, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, so and just I don't think there's any, like there's no pleasure, knowledge about right? that anymore. There's no framework for that anymore. Right. Right. So, yeah. Yeah, and, and it does. It is dehumanizing because she's basically saying, "Well, this is what you know you're really after." Where yeah, he is exactly. Now. This is what men want, right? You know, and it's like, no, like where do no. you where do you get that? Like, I mean, I know where you get that, but like, why do you why aren't you even asking about this? You know, all right. Yeah, uh, I'll play more. See, this is a woman who has on her mind that men want sex, 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 and nothing else. So she came out too strong right out of the gate and scared him off. I was on a blind date. The guy opened up Tinder while sitting there with me and was swiping on girls. I guess I wasn't interesting enough. Haha. -ha. Oof. A lot of pain in that haha. -ha. What's the hardest thing? <laughs> it's me or the PlayStation. He took the PlayStation over his marriage and 10 year relationship. Oh my. Why the frick would you? It's not, it wasn't you or the PlayStation, my dear. It was you or the ultimatum. It was the ultimatum. Yeah. Yeah, it's the ultimatum, especially when yeah. you're It's asking, me or the blank, then it's going to be like, the could blank. Can you imagine like Gaston with Belle? It's me or the books, Belle. And everybody's like, oh my God, I can't believe she chose the books over him. It's like, no, but that's mm -hmm. a part of who she is and how she expresses herself. You know, the PlayStation is a part of who he is and how he enjoys himself. So you're asking him to give up part of who he is to stay with you. All right. And yeah, it's me or the PlayStation is literally what's end. happening right now with Sweet Baby Inc., by the way. It's just that on a fucking grand scale. Epic scale, yeah. Yeah. Well, and it doesn't stop. Like, here's the thing. Like, no. she says, oh, it's a play she, he chose a PlayStation over me. Well, the thing is that the first one isn't the last one. What's the next thing you're going to ask him to give up? I don't know. Baseball yeah. cards? Collectibles? tabletop going out whatever with comic friends, books going yeah favorite. hanging out with like, his yeah, oh that's ends. totally i've totally seen that like i had friends that got married and then I, I didn't see them anymore or i very rarely saw them and at first i thought it, you know they would be like well i gotta spend time with the wife and then it was like well i gotta spend time with the kids and i'm like yeah i'm understanding i get it like i don't want to you know take away your position as father but then later on i always learned that uh, uh, it was the woman's intent the whole time well not in every case but in most cases they were like, well, I, I wanted to get him away from his friends because he's mine now. And now this is what we're going to do. And he'll be miserable and they'll get a divorce. It, it's happened. It's happened. I've seen it with very old friends. They, you know, they find somebody they're They were desperate to find somebody. They find somebody they're together for a while. Then they start disappearing from, you know, like they stop hanging out with us uh, and then they will get married. We go to the wedding. We're all involved. We're very supportive. 
Then he has some kids. Again, we very rarely see him. And then all of a sudden, we learn that, you know, the wife never liked us, didn't want us around, just wanted him to himself or herself or whatever. And then, like, a little while later, they get divorced. And it's probably because she became, she got bored and he was miserable. Because he wasn't, like, there wasn't a balance, right? Like, I think that even, even though when you get married, you should put your spouse you know, for, first, whether you're a man or a woman, I think that those people still need their own, like their own thing, their friends, their family, whatever, like their thing, you know, you gotta let, let them have their, their thing. Otherwise you're just going to make them feel isolated and miserable. And that's not going to work in my opinion anyway. Oh my God. You know, I always say if somebody offers you an ultimatum between them and something else, take the something else. But in this case, I don't know, a PlayStation? Like maybe there's more to this story, but ending a 10 year relationship and marriage over a PlayStation? I just? Well, depends on the games library and whether or not they're exclusives. <laughs> oh, I, I honestly, I think that she, this is a foot putting down situation. Like, can you imagine? Like, I used Gaston and Bell for a reason. Yeah. Can you imagine yeah. a man saying, it's me or, the, or your It's host? the principle, basically. It's yeah. The, it, you, yeah, that's not... She threw away a 10-year relationship over a PlayStation. This is mm -hmm. the funny thing. Like, everybody's like, oh, the man did it. No, she did it. Because she yeah. didn't say, okay, if it matters that much to you, it's a part of who you are, I will mm -hmm. live with it. Okay. Yeah. Like, I'm pretty sure he didn't he didn't sneak his PlayStation into the relationship and was like surprise PlayStation and now you have to accommodate this. It's in like okay, so I totally disagree with Shu on this. Yeah. This is not fair. It it would be a man going to a wife who's a reader, who reads books and saying, "Oh dear, I don't want you to read your I'm taking away your Kindle. It's your Kindle or me." Like no, mm -hmm. that is not acceptable. Mm -hmm. And it's not the person who chooses the books or the PlayStation over their partner that ended the relationship. It's the person who forced them to choose. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm just saying. Okay. I'm, I'm completely not on board with what she was saying here. All right. PlayStation? I just came to the realization why I'm single. Every guy that I'm like, oh yeah, he's attractive. I see their wives and they just look like so like, you know, not like this, you know, like I pretend my tattoos are gone. <laughs> That's why guys don't want to wife me up. I thought these men wanted like, you know, big strong tough girls. Okay, so first of all, she will find a man, okay? She's adorable. She's self-aware. She's just a little quirked up white girl. She probably yeah. will need to lower her standards a little bit, though. Because yeah. if all the men that she's eyeballing have wives that are feminine. Yeah, you might want to. You might want to. Then you may yeah, have to I adjust don't... your expectations. Yeah, a little bit. She, but there, but, but the, look, dude. But I, there is a man yeah, for... Like, there is a man out there that will wife her up, for sure. Like, there's a dude that wiped up a fucking two-headed chick. Like, that, like, <laughs> so, there is no excuse, ladies. You have no excuse. A ma oh, uh, there is a two-headed woman that is married to a fucking vet. Like, you have no excuse. <laughs> I'm sorry. No. No. I am not, no, that, I am not hearing it. Do not cry. Don't cry for me, Argentina. I know. Okay? So... Anyway. Afuera! Okay, can oh, I just, I want to get into this. Yeah, yeah, all go right. ahead. Yeah, she, first of all, yeah, don't, don't look for men who have wives. Yeah, okay? there's that, that too. You sh you've, the men who are attractive with wives, these are, these are men you should not be considering seriously in any capacity. And if you are, you don't deserve a relationship because you are a home wrecker. But the other thing is that why aren't you going after men who are more your speed? Like, I assume the men with wives have like the stable income. Go after the band, like the guys in the band. That's more your speed. Um, Maybe you know, go after the artists. I mean, you go to a gym. There's probably dudes at the gym. I'm mean, obviously you go to a gym. There's probably dudes at the gym. But the muscle mommy thing is not. 
I don't know. I don't think that I think I don't think the average guy is into that. I mean, yeah, there are guys into that, but like, dude, like separate the internet from reality. Like, you know, go touch grass. Look at regular people. Here's something that I think uh, might have been home math spoke about, but just maximizing your niche. Right. Mm -hmm. You may have a niche, lady. You may have a niche that you very much appeal to the men in that niche. That means yeah. that, you know, it's going to be less men, but they're going to be more loyal because they'll have less options, right? Yeah. But you have to be okay with the men that you are signaling. Like, you, you're not going to be signaling to men who are interested in a particular uh, wife. That you, and, and unfortunately, you've made some permanent choices about your looks. With those tattoos, I mean, you could probably get rid of your muscles, but you, those tattoos aren't going anywhere unless you get them burnt off. Maybe if you were so focused on this particular group of men that you find attractive, you should have looked at what they find attractive. Now you're basically stuck with the men who find you attractive. And my suggestion is that you figure out how to be attracted to them, um, develop uh, develop a sense of your own interests you know like there must be a reason why you got tattooed was it only because you wanted to appeal to men that's ridiculous mm -hmm. like is that honestly why you did this you don't have your own personal reasons your own personal reasons for the choices yeah you like made? did you just... did you become like a you know did you start like building muscle because you thought men were into that where did you get you this idea you... yeah or did you do it because it would inspired you for some reason like, this is the worst approach. Do these things because they inspire you, because they motivate you, because you have passion for them. And I guarantee that there will be men who are attracted to that because there's a lot of men who are attracted to a woman who is passionate, inspired, and appears to be enjoying what she's doing. Am I wrong? Yeah. You know, so dig into why you did what you did. If it was only to attract men, you fucked up. Don't do that. Yeah, you shouldn't do that. Don't men, do that. Men, even... men, you shouldn't do it either. You no, should not men, build men your your it. whole personality around attracting a woman. Um, no. It... It's a and bad idea. Like, I think one of the problems that women have is they do build their whole personality around attracting a man. Instead well, of... Well, because they're looking for a certain kind of man. Because they're looking for a certain kind of man. They're all looking for the mm -hmm. same man, which is ridiculous. Joe, build... Dig into what you like. Dig mm -hmm. into who you are. And then do these things and be passionate about them. You know, and probably there'll be a man who's interested in that. You know, I mean, yep. maybe there are some women who can go the route of just, you know, uh, floating and, and being like, okay, I'm going to submit to whatever a man wants. I'm sure you guys can find a man too, right? That's mm -hmm. fine too. Like there's no, there, there's always, there's all kinds of ways to have relationships. They don't all have to be the same. They really shouldn't because that's boring. But the, your way now is to figure out who you are and why you did these things and discover your passion or your inspiration for why you're going to the gym every day, you're exercising and do that, be that and attract a man who's into that. Okay, that's it. Like, and just forget about the guys who don't want that because they don't want you. Move on. Become more you and appreciate a man who appreciates that. Okay, there, that's my advice. All right. Girl with tattoos. Who doesn't like a little quirked up white girl with tattoos? I personally love tattoos. I love piercings. If I wasn't such a pussy, I would look like this. In high school, I was so determined to get an Avenged Sevenfold logo on the back of my neck. So happy that didn't happen. <laughs> but anyway, some men do like her style and trust me, judging by the internet, men love muscle mommies. But if she's not attracting the type of men she wants, she could just easily soften up her style. She could take the nose ring out. She could put her hair down. I'm not gonna say L or W. This is kind of neutral. I'm leaning towards W because she's so self-aware about it, but I think she's gonna make it. We're all gonna make it, queens. If a man- Okay, I-, I... I th it's interesting how we went in completely different opposite directions. I said, go into whatever it is that your passion is. And she said, soften. So I, I guess you could do either. Like personally, I think at this point you, you gotta, you gotta commit. Like, well, I think you gotta figure out, I think you should figure out like, like, like what, yeah. 
you gotta find yourself in a way like you gotta be like well what what because like don't just if you're just like getting jacked up because you think that men like that then you're not doing it for its own sake you're doing it for some external validation i think you're gonna be disappointed so what you should do is figure out what it is like are, you know are the piercings and tattoos just like oh you know i'm doing this because i don't know like i somebody that i admire does it and and whatever or or is it because i feel something strongly about this and also are you're not just your piercings tattoos and muscles like what what else because the men don't care about that like well i mean like a decent guy is going to care about like what are your values what do you what are your interests you know what i mean like what makes you tick like these are just obvious things that like okay. what makes you compatible um so so the french asked me isn't wanting to attract a man a personal reason yeah but at the same time when women do things to attract men don't and then the man marries the woman like there's that saying a man marries a woman hoping she doesn't change and a man a woman marries a man hoping he does right like if you're going yeah. to do something just to attract a partner and you don't actually have a genuine interest in it isn't that sort of like deceitful in a way so i would say that yeah that might be a personal reason to a degree like I mean, I understand that people like to do the mating dance. They like to be attractive to the opposite sex or the same sex or the, the fluid sex, whatever. Um, they they want to do that. And that's, you know, that's perfectly valid. But at the same time, at some, at some point, you sort of have to be, know who you are if you want to be in a relationship, a real relationship. Yeah, I mean, like, it doesn't, look, look, the overwhelming majority of the population wants to find someone. Like, that's just the way we're wired why would we the only thing we would be building towards is basically like bettering ourselves like being better people you know having being healthier being i don't know more well read or whatever it is you know good at something that's like men do that and part of what does it is this biological evolved whatever god-given desire to attract a mate but it's through competency but i think competency is something that men want to pursue for its own sake first like when you're a kid you know like i remember when i was a child i was always talking about what i want to be when i grow up for example i wasn't thinking about girls but i knew what i wanted to do i was like oh i want to be a cop i want to be a fireman i want to be an astronaut you know the usual things that boys want to be um I was like really into, into dinosaurs and whatever. So I, I think, and then like, if you, if you like stick to that, you pursue that, then you're going to be, become passionate about it. You're going to get good at it. And then you will uh, find yourself like, you know, expressing competency in those areas, whether they're athletic or whatever. And then you'll attract women that are also interested in one way or another in similar fields right like i'm an artist just so interested in your passion and drive yeah That's or it. they just or they're just they just admire your drive exactly yeah did the fact you have a plan that you know, this underestimates how attractive having a plan is to people um uh -huh. people like people with a plan you know that's why the one of the first things you need to do as a writer is give your protagonist a goal but um the what, what i wanted to point out is i think women underestimate and, and correct me if I'm wrong, because I could be completely wrong, but men like women who enjoy stuff. Like this is yeah. something that I've noticed about men. Like if you like something, they will like they will they'll at least entertain it because you like it because they like to see you liking things. Mm -hmm. Like I think women don't d d underestimate that in men. Yeah, that they enjoy when women are enjoying stuff. Oh yeah, for woman sure. Who knows what sure. she enjoys, then that itself can be attractive to men. Um, this is in my opinion. Yeah, you know, I agree. This is my opinion. Okay, like men True. really like happy women doing their thing. Yep, they do. <laughs> Lindsay, like before the show, I was like, you know, Lindsay wasn't feeling well, so she's in bed playing Minecraft, and I just laid next to her and closed my eyes and just listened her playing the game i didn't even really watch much but 
don't know. She probably thought I was weird. I was like, no, I'm, I, I know you're happy. Like, I know that you're content in this moment. So I'm just enjoying the moment with you is all. I don't even need to know what's going on. I don't know how to play Minecraft at all, you know, but she likes it. So. A man leaves you after you've cheated. He clearly wasn't a real man. Real men would work through it and help you become a better woman. They accept you with all your flaws. When I thought my man was cheating. That's just cringe, man. Like. The real man thing is well, so old, like it, it has no value. I think value. this would be a juxtaposition here. I think there might be- Oh yeah, let's, let's, let's see, let's see. you with all your flaws. When I thought my man was cheating on me, so I slept with his dad, but actually he was just planning on his proposal to me and I <laughs> ruined it. What? Oh. When you go- That was just dumb. Like, but oh I guess, God. I guess your boyfriend or fiance or whatever, potential fiance, he dodged a bullet. I mean, geez. well, here's the thing. I'm going to I'm going to lay out a, a causal progression, shall we say to you? Mm. All right. This narrative and I keep coming back to it. And I know everybody's like, oh, God, it's becoming Allison's new Rome. But this narrative that men hate women, they oppress women, that there's this this conflict between the sexes leads women like that to jump to he's abusing me. He does. He's not loyal. He's cheating me. She's she's cheating on me. He's doing all these bad things. He it leads them to jump to that, respond to the fiction they've constructed in their mind based on what they've been told about men, and then destroy their lives. You see that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like if she hadn't been, although holy shit, his father? Are you fucking? That's one fucked up family. I'm sorry. Yeah. Maybe, maybe both of them dodged a bullet. Who knows? But M maybe. Um, <laughs> but again, like, assuming this is true, because it sounds yeah, crazy I mean, enough to be like, did you read that like in a fucking romance novel or see it on a soap opera or something? And then you just were like, oh, yeah, I totally this happened to me. Like, I don't know. But let's assume it's real. Yeah. But, but my overall point is that this constructed narrative around men, it, like there's no bottom to the narrative that men oppress women. There's no... Nope. There's, as far as I can tell, there is no bottom to the hole that constructs in people's psyche when it comes to men. Because there's, there's nothing worse in the world, really. So mm -hmm. you've basically, just with that narrative, you have said that men are worse than eldritch abominations. Like you, mm -hmm. You're just going to spiral down and down and down in the hole of how bad men are. And I've seen it happen on Twitter. Like There's, there's women who are just spiraling in this hole and men too just spiraling down this 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 endless hole you know about how bad men are just based on that believing or internalizing that framework which again has never been proven it's unscientific like it, it, it's a choice to believe it basically it's it's optional you don't have to believe that men oppress women you don't have to and when you do Unless you have other things stopping you, you end up spiraling down the hole of how bad men are. So what happened here, in my opinion, is the woman spiraled down that hole and ex imploded her life because of it. And that, I, I think that, now this might be an exaggeration and there's other crazy shit happening. I think that happens a lot. Yeah. It encourages women to split black on men and thus destroy the happiness they could have. Mm-hmm. And or or avoid actually embracing the happiness they could have, destroy the happiness they do oh, yeah, have, right. they and self sabotage destroying. all the time. Self sabotage. Yeah. This narrative is female self sabotage. Yep. And it's a choice Go through his. It's one hundred percent a choice to believe it. No, it's okay. In this case, it was it was uh, it was uh, it was not my self sabotage. But okay. Yeah. All right, I'm playing. But actually, he was just planning on his proposal to me and <laughs> ruined it. What? When you go through his phone to see if he's cheating, but you find screenshots of you cheating. <laughs> like, when you know, oh uh, well, I'm just going to play more. When you checked his phone to see if he's cheating, but found nothing, then suddenly he said, my turn. Listen. If your partner wants all of your passwords and constantly wants to see your phone, reads all your texts, wants access to all your accounts all the time, and accuses you of cheating on them randomly, that's most likely projection and they are cheating on you. Not all the time. Sometimes they have trust issues, maybe from a different relationship. In these cases, yes, it, it was projection. Mom 
of yep. two leaves her husband of 14 years for a stranger she was convinced was her soulmate after one magical night at a conference, only to be ghosted by him. <laughs> Whoa. These are these are massive L's as women ghosting. I'm yeah. sorry, are we supposed to feel bad for this bitch? Because I yeah, know. Right. Men, if the DNA confirms the baby is not yours, it doesn't change the fact that you must take responsibility of the baby. Women go through a lot in marriages, and women deserve better. <laughs> What? No, you don't. Woman, <laughs> literally, what the? I have no idea what women like. When you women are like, oh, we do so much. No, you don't. You don't. Yeah. Like we're we're it, like two thirds of the way through this video. Contrast this against her video about men that we covered a while back. You notice? Yeah, it's yeah. There's you a, big, a difference. There's, there's, yes, and. This is all self destruction, like self sabotage, like you said. It's all self-sabotage, and a lot of it, I think, is inspired by the narrative that has been internalized about men. Mm -hmm. um, right there. We've, we, we can behave in incredibly nasty and abusive and exploitative ways because historically marriage was, you know, uh, marriage for a woman is so bad. And that is, of course, based on all of the statistics that actually aren't true that that women are less happy in marriage they do more work and all that that's all lies that's all made up mm -hmm. to support the fiction that men are constructing a society and marriage for their own benefit at the expense of women okay so all of this goes back to that narrative all of it and it feeds into the self-sabotage cycle and it's like this is not true yep. at all if, if anything, the last two centuries have been about men reducing women's work in the home. And really, what's, what I think has really happened is unfor the unfortunate side effect of reducing women's labor in the home has been to drive them insane. Yep. And the reason why I say that is because idle hands are the devil's work. <laughs> well, idle hands apparently are madness, is like the work of insanity. Because when you don't have a job to do, I guess the, the feeling of uselessness overtakes your brain and you, you, you do insanity, like feminism. Mm -hmm. Like literally, literally, last two centuries, the Industrial Revolution, all of the revolution and all of the domestic, um, domestic uh, machines removed and took the domestic sphere from one of production and labor to one of consumption, right? The, the men have literally taken the labor that women used to do, mechanized it so they don't have to do it, and then given them the purse strings of society. And at the same time as men did that, what did women do? They constructed a narrative in which they are oppressed by the very people who are relieving them of labor and giving them the purse strings of society. Mm -hmm. Like it's like uh, that is. That is clown world shit. And I think <laughs> it's perfect evidence that when you take away a person's gerb, you drive them insane. Okay? Yep. Like, like if they don't have a sense of purpose, this, what we are looking at now is women have no sense of purpose as women. They have none. And they haven't sat down and said, you know what, I don't think it's men oppressing us. I think it's that we don't have a sense of purpose. Okay? Ladies, we need, mm -hmm. we need to just... Figure out who we are. Have the courage to do that. Face our mortality. You know, instead of constantly blaming men for our own existential crisis. All right, I'll get off yep. the podium. Let's keep going. All right. 37. Stabs husband multiple times after finding explicit photos of another woman that turned out to be her when she was thinner. No! This man texted me. Thank I'll you for showing that. me what it feels that's that's unbelievable that's like domestic views i mean i guess it is sort of blackly humorous but well the Good causal Lord. part of it is yeah i mean i think she was just trying to make no. light of this dark stuff but yeah definitely clown world shit did me thank you yeah, for showing me what if what again it's that narrative that makes women go to the worst instead yep. of just just you know to be like oh wait Wait, this is me. Like, she could have just sat there. She could have cried. She could have had, like, a bottle of wine. And she could have looked more closely and been, oh, 
this is me. Oh shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I don't have Well, yeah, I mean me. like if she saw these explicit photos and immediately was like I knew it. This guy is a piece yeah. of shit and I'm going to murder him. I mean, that's I, I can't even that's not even that's like beyond insane. Like I I don't even yeah. know how to describe it. And there's like and and what is she going to have like is she going to have a moment of like, you know, self-realization i'm a piece of shit why did i do that i have to change my ways like i don't know like that's just like i don't know i, yeah, I can't even i can't even funny. have an opinion on it it's so it's so insane yeah well, it's, and, and, it's and again so, it's that narrative making women jump to the absolute worst yeah possible conclusion like spiral into the hole of men oppress women it's just, it's just like she just was walking along and mm -hmm. she fell into that hole and then imploded her entire life. Hopefully she's getting life for attempted murder. I hope he survived. Maybe he didn't. If she murdered him, she should get life. She destroyed his life. She destroyed her own life. Yeah. And why? Okay. All right, let's play more. To me, thank you for showing me what it feels like to be loved. I can't wait to make you my wife someday. It's gay shit like that that makes me want to cheat. Women be like, <laughs> wow, thanks. This is why it's so fucking hard to convince men to open up. I hope and pray this king has found someone who actually appreciates him when he cheated on me with the same girl my other ex cheated on me with. Girl, that isn't your average hoe. That's your arch nemesis. You need to either defeat her in battle or commit seppuku right now. No other way. Betrayed. I suggested an open marriage to my husband. What? That's not that's not a hoe, it's her arch nemesis. So she's got Yeah, yeah. That's the start of a that's the start of a, a revenge arc. Or I mean Yeah. That sounds like a more interesting story than the impetus for it. And to spice up our sex life. He then fell for his lover and I was heartbroken. Many, many, many such cases. Woman wants to open up the marriage, man finds someone else, and leaves with her. Because as soon as you open up the marriage, He's not going to take it seriously anymore because you're not taking it seriously anymore. And a lot of people just can't be polyamorous. They can only be monogamous. They can only give their love and intimacy to one person at a time. So L, common open marriage L. Getting two jobs and telling my boyfriend that I'll work 70 hours a week so I can pay the bills so he can find his dream job to find out he was cheating on me on the days I worked 16 hours. Hmm. Wow. Oh, well. Wow, that's when uh, he went on that makes some shitty behavior. I don't think really think that's her L. If that's honest, yeah, that's not her L. That's just as you just managed to find yourself a sociopath. By the way, might be a good idea to tell women that sociopaths are really good at getting them the tingles. Yeah, you know? <laughs> and, and they should be aware of that. Them. Yeah, was he was he like that. was was this man part of the top one percent? Mm -hmm. uh, and that why there was there was so much pussy getting thrown at him that after a while he was like, okay. <laughs> so, I don't know. Tinder right in front of me an hour after taking my virginity. I nursed Oof. my cheating husband back to health from severe brain trauma. Then he cheated again. Okay, so I know this is about women posting their L's, but god damn, these men ain't shit. No wonder there's so many insane broken harpies coming at me when I talk about male loneliness. And no wonder there are so many men who think all women are lying whores. Y'all are destroying yourselves. Stop cheating. Is it that hard it to not fuck someone? Yeah, I think she's talking about both men and women here. Yeah. But I, I will have to say that, and yes, men and women can both be shit and, and wonderful in equal measure, generally. Wait, I, oh, I, we're not going to be just scapegoating women all the time? Wow. Oh, no. Well, wait, wait. Sorry. Sure, I'm, we can I'm just kidding. scapegoat I'm women kidding. all the time. We can just scapegoat women for the whole show. I mean, apparently I don't that's, it scapegoating, that's what we do. I do no, not, not, not it when Not when they're legitimately doing shit. So. I don't consider it scapegoating to recognize the importance of women's actions and their moral choices. Like, mm -hmm. that's ridiculous. For um, sure. Okay, let's keep going. All right.
Coffee's in the chat for women, guys. Okay. I don't think so. Look at my audience. Follow people who haven't done that. I mean, the whole time I was seeing him, I was kind of just using it as a psychology experiment. I didn't really like the guy. I more just wanted to see if I could break his heart. Parker, you're it was wearing. Fun. So did you break his heart then? Just a wee bit. I hope I did a little damage. Demon. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, screw Does she realize that 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 top is not? Yeah, uh, yeah, not flattering. Not flattering. It's not flattering. No. Like I don't know who Demon. it would be flattering Be on. Huh? I don't know who it would be flattering on. That top could make an anorexic look. You know, I think a lot of these girls that end up on these podcasts, like the whatever podcast, they I think a lot of them go on there to promote their own platforms. Like, they're just there to market themselves. Come watch so, me be stupid in another yeah. video. Or, or, and then go to my OnlyFans or whatever. I, I Honestly, that's what they, I think they're doing. They're oh, just going. That's why they're that's okay with, like, coming across as stupid or, like, bimbos. Because they're, like, just see an opportunity to get more attention. And it works. I mean, look at that girl. What's her name? Uh, there was a girl who had red hair. She was, like... On the whatever podcast, extremely obnoxious, but overly sexualized to the it, point. So I can't really. Help yeah, it. I know, I know. I just I don't remember her name. Um, it doesn't matter. Nala, Nala, that's her name. And then she like you know viral for all the wrong reasons. Then she goes on social media. She's like, I found Jesus, and everything's better now. And then she gets to go on like you know Daily Wire and all this other stuff. It's like, wow, that's good for your platform too. And look, I mean, if if you have like changed your ways and reformed, that's great, whatever. But I'm, uh, you know, pardon me if I'm a little like skeptical of the fact that you know the the attention gasoline has run out over here. So you're just changing gears and like finding God, and now you're getting a whole new stream of attention from like a whole different group mm -hmm. of people. And I mean, it's just like I'm sorry, but there and there's nothing humble about it, and. It, it's I think that that's why they go on those podcasts. I think it's just to like make a name for themselves to become famous for saying stupid shit and then like they go go from there. That's what I think. Mm -hmm. Yep. So All right, let's keep going. All right. Gone, vile woman. Congratulations, you have created another person with trust issues. People like this should be in jail. People like this should be in prison. People yeah. like this should be thrown in the pit. Remembering the time he came home and told me he I to jail She's right away. created more than that a one man with trust issues. Women like mm -hmm. this playing these games are the reason why 10% of men in one year are no longer looking. Yep. One year. It's gone, or two years, maybe. Two years, gone down 10%. It's not just that, they, that men are frustrated with all the hoops they have to jump through. It's because they look at what they get after jumping through all those hoops and they say, it's not worth it. Yep. Like, I, I am... I, I am bi. And I would not want this in my life. At all. Mm-hmm. So I understand that men do not want this in their lives. Like, and unfortunately, these are the women who are the most vocal... Of course, you got the, 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 I guess the, the, the men on the other side, um, the so-called Andrew Tate fans or whatever, the red pillars, you know, they also are not very attractive. However, they are a reaction to this. Men didn't start the ball rolling. Men didn't start the fire. They didn't start the fire. Mm -hmm. it, was it was always burning since the world was turning. The advocates for women's issues started this shitty fire, this shitty trash fire in our society. Mm -hmm. Now, honestly, it probably goes even deeper than that because it's probably a narrative that was very effective for certain things that needed to happen. But still, you know, if we want to actually... <laughs> this, is, this is what's so frustrating about this. I got into it. You were actually party to this conversation on Twitter because you came in at the end. And I basically, I'm like, you know, I'm against the narrative that men oppress women. And this individual was like, well, why are you polarizing men and women? Why are you pushing them further apart? I'm like, dude, huh. 
I'm not there the is one a guy who's doing that, this. Yeah, there's a guy that's responding to my tweets on Twitter. And I don't, I like, I, I need a fucking legend and a translator to like help me figure a cipher to help me figure out what the fuck they're saying. Cause I don't know if they hate me or they agree with me. I can't tell. It's uh, so I just ignore it. I don't know. I, I swear to God, I need like, yep. I need somebody to like, uh, like decipher it. Uh, Somebody commented on a post and it was Braille. And I was like, how does this work? Like there was a braille, but it's but it's on a fucking screen. Like what? I don't know what it says. I have to translate that. It, just crazy, dude. Weird. Okay. People are weird online. All, All right, right, I'm so gonna play more. Hmm? Go ahead. By Go. opposing the narrative that men oppress women, it does not mean that I am driving men and women further apart. How does that work? Like how? Yeah. Like, I'm saying, this is driving men and women further apart. How dare you drive men and women further apart? What? Yeah. Identifying like, the problem is contributing to the problem. Yeah, identifying the problem is 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 making the problem. Are you... Yep. Okay, no. Your unexamined bullshit has to leave this conversation. Okay, let's, let's get... Like, we can continue. All right. He cheated on me, so I slept with him and made him tell me I was better. When I found out my boyfriend was cheating on me, instead of breaking up, he had me and the other girl give speeches on why he should stay with either of us. And when he chose me, I took him out to dinner and got him thank you presents. <laughs> so, th- this is she exactly won. like she won, but like she that's why it's it's that's why her face is the way it is because you see, this is women falling into this intersexual competition with men that actually have the luxury of making women compete with each other over them. And then they do it and they win and they're like, what the fuck did I just do? But it's like, this is what you wanted. Like, you you know, like, <laughs> I mean, look, if a dude had done that, like if there was like a chick and she was like, sleeping with two men and they learned about each other and then those two men fought over that woman i would be making fun of them too because that happened to me once like i was dating a girl when i was in my 20s and i thought that we were exclusive and she had a roommate that was that according to her was an ex-boyfriend and i believed her which was stupid and then later i found out that 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 he she he was not an ex-boyfriend and on top of that, he wasn't aware of me. Like he met me, but I guess she said, oh, he's just a friend of mine, right? So what I did was I went to the apartment when she wasn't there because she was out with another dude, like a third guy. And I talked to the ex-boyfriend or to the boy, the boyfriend. I said, look, she's playing us both. And I want you to know that because I thought that she was single, but she's not. And I'm not, I'm not cool with this. And he said, oh, yeah, I respect that. And like he and I hung out. <laughs> and, then, and then, like, we, like, he called her up, up on the phone and confronted her. And I was, like, in the room. I was like, yeah, we're both here. We know what's going on, you know. And she was really upset and crying and shit. And I just, like, I shook, I shook the guy's hand and I left. Because I wasn't going to be a fucking sucker like that. Like, even though I was pretty naive. I was, like, 25 or something, 24 at the time. Um, I wasn't going to be a sucker like that. So like this woman actually still went through with it. And it's just like, well, what does that say? You know? Um, anyway. Yeah, no, I don't know if you wanted to say you. anything. Like, you. No, I'm yeah. just going to say props on you. Just then and don't get sucked into it. Like this is, again, this is, this is women being suckered in based on intersectional competition. Like you mentioned at the beginning, like women, mm-hmm fighting with other women you think that you've won something yeah i guess i guess this is evidence like um i recently got a um i think it was a guardian argument or our article that said that when women fight uh it, it plays into men's hands like men yeah like, yeah i know it's nightly yeah. whiplash well it you know it certainly played into this one man's hands because when he can yeah get exactly to fight over well you see him. the guardian is always like these these like these websites that have these opinion pieces about men and women, they're always giving away the game. Like every time they do that, because they're telling you they only see the men at the top. 
They only see the men at the apex and they ignore all the other men. Those other men don't exist. They're literally invisible. So when they write about it, they say, oh yeah, this is how men are. He's like, no, no, that's about, that's how those men are. And, and you know what? Those men can be like that because they have that much power because women give it to them. So I, you know, I'm, I'm sorry, but I won't accept that you're like, you're ba- you, we might as well call those men like something else because those are the only people you all ever talk about are the men at the very top. They should have like their own category, like another sex or something like you know what I mean? Like, because they, they're they're the only men they ever talk about. The CEOs, the powerful politicians, the one percent, the you know, the or patriarchy. The it's the men who can have sex with as many women as they want. They're always the same tiny percentage of dudes at the top that women are always bitching about. Well, because they don't see the other ones. Here's the thing. Okay, first of all, we're also talking about men who can give the perception sell a woman on that lifestyle for a short period of time or the really Mm -hmm. good looking guys right very very top okay those guys aren't like this either there is a minority of them who are like this because even when you're talking about ceos i need to remind everyone when the two towers were hit and this is really important because this is an example of civilian men In particular, civilian men in the C-suite and their behavior in a disaster like this. Like You don't get a lot of situations where you get to test men who are in this 1% that everybody complains about. Those men sacrifice their lives to save the secretaries, the middle management, you know, the people below them. Many of them sacrifice their lives to save others. So when we talk about the 1% as some, like, monolith, that's not the case. Many of these men Mm -hmm. are probably also trapped in this, this carousel of bullshit. Because they probably can't find a woman who genuinely wants them. You know, it's funny because all these women are like, oh, I can't get him to commit. But here's the thing. If you really wanted a commitment... You would choose someone on your level who resonated with you in a person, in a, in a friendship way on some level, right? Not, you know, attractive, but also someone you could be friends with. You're probably going after these unattainable men because you're afraid of commitment yourself. And these guys are surrounded by women who want the perception of a particular type of lifestyle. Essentially, they want... A man who can recreate a romance novel climax for a night. And then they don't want to have to wake up or actually commit or deal with the nitty gritty of a relationship. So Mm -hmm. these guys are also being used by the women in their lives. Right? Yep. And I've, I've heard like some of these guys talk about that and they get tired of it. They get tired of being sucked into being turned into somebody's geisha like th- like really that's really all it is they are basically a court a courtier uh a person who exists to construct a night of um very very fake like a fake reality and sex for somebody else and they get tired of it they actually mm-hmm. want to have someone who sticks around who they can build a life with you know, some of them really enjoy it. Don't get me wrong. Some of them are trapped in this and they're trying to find a woman who is on their level and interested in pursuing a relationship. And they're not finding that. All they're finding is a bunch of women who are happy for them to generate the fantasy for a night, don't want to have fucking anything really to do with them after that. And then they mm-hmm. pretend like, oh, yeah, I really want him to commit, but I'm not, I, yeah, I just can't, you know, I'm, uh, yeah, really? Do you really? Or are you enjoying the fact that at any point in time you can dial up the fantasy with a far more attractive man and you don't actually have to do the work of having a relationship? Because I can tell you that isn't something where you're losing, lady. And I think that your professations that you want a commitment might be uh, a little bit false. Because if you did, you'd be looking for exactly that. Anyway, that's my thoughts. Yeah. Um, 
All right, all right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I, I just looked at my Twitter and I made a tweet that exploded with rage, and I kind of want to talk about it a little bit because I think it kind of like, it says something about what women think about how the world works and what they miss, and it's absolutely crucial. And it's something that we've talked about on the show many times. But I'll play the rest of this since it was asked of us. Although the time codes end here oh no no they're not quite over yet there's like five minutes left never was much of a romantic i used to beg him to stop cheating on me by giving him money me remembering the time i walked in on my boyfriend cheating on me and i left and came back five minutes later and asked to join they declined women get some self-respect holy shit. i would say you could do better but honestly i don't know anymore turn up the cheat all women should have an affair once in their life. It made me feel sexier and look younger. First of all, what? did it? Sex <laughs> no. <laughs> oh God. Sad. But I remember that story. I think I, I even like, I might have made it in, into a patron show topic. Second of all, this is the kind of shit the average woman has blasting into her mind 24-7. And you wonder why like 45% of them are destined to be single in 2030. And on the flip side, you have all these like Manosphere red pill people excusing Hello. cheating, but that's, that's a video low. for another day. Is the man- Well, she's talking yeah, about like the, the Andrew Tate fresh and fit types. No, no, that no, that's, like... a, that's a low, 45% single is a low estimate. It's probably not mm -hmm. much- uh, especially considering the rate at which men are opting out of this entire situation, which mm -hmm. is like, honestly, that is not a good sign because men who have opted out of the idea of ever having family, they don't see, like, they don't see a point to anything beyond themselves, beyond this yeah. generation. Yeah. And that's not, that is not the sign of a society that's going to exist in a, in a generation. But the other thing is that, I mean, she's sort of right about the red pill justifying cheating at least from what i've seen like i had i got into most it. most of the guys that where that comes from are guys like kevin samuels so it's like this the black part of the manosphere i'll just say it that way because it's true okay. and i think it's well, it's sort of a cultural thing that like you know that's normalized there and it spreads out okay yeah and i said somebody said well it's it's different when men cheat because blah i'm like but it's about the morals. Yeah. Like, if you're going to say something like, uh, what did they say? Um, you're going to justify men cheating based on biology. Then how can you... Not, I mean, you can also justify men, women cuckolding men based on biology. I mean, could you imagine how much worse the human gene pool would be if women weren't going after alphas and getting betas to raise their children? Like, it's no. We are we are more than our biology. We we are our morals, and that is immoral. And it's immoral if men do it, and it's immoral if women do it. Mm -hmm. Like, um. That was one of the few times that Natty just just got off my tits when she saw me say that to this guy. I'm like, no. Yeah. Morality is morality. You can make these excuses about biology, but at the end of the day, morality is morality. You know? I'm pretty sure St. Augustine was not did not approve of men cheating on their wives. I mean, he was pretty explicit about that. So if you're going to be this... a Christian... Sorry? Oh, nothing. This tweet, it just, my, my tweet exploded. So oh, much okay. rage. Oh, okay. we'll get, I'll, I'll, okay. I'll, I'll, shut up. I'll get I'll to shut it. Up. Let's go. All right. Let's all right. Go I want to get to it. I want to get to it. It's a good one. And I'm cheating with lying to me like he does to his wife. Yes. Yes. Yes, he is. Next. I've cheated on every single one of my significant others. Would you still take a shot? Fellas. No. Would you take a shot? I swear. <laughs> God, women with big titties can get away with anything. The power dynamic of the world is this. The peasants, the rich, the elites, the deep state, women with big titties. Broke up with my boyfriend who loved me. Actually, that's kind of true, though. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of truth in the more truth than Shu probably understands. Like, the deep state serves titties, like, at the end of the day. The double deep state. The double yeah, the deep double state. deep state. <laughs> They serve the titties, but they don't have to be big. 
All titties are good. Um, all right, but anyway, sips tea. Me so I could hook up with my coworker that I've had a huge crush on since forever who just got out of a 3.5 year relationship. All to get pumped and dumped. Thinking about how my perfect womp, womp. first boyfriend- Well, I mean, like, dude, he was on the rebound. Like, what did you expect? Come on now. Yeah, don't do that. Yeah, don't do that. Let him, not if you want something serious. Hey, we have a yellow devil in the chat. Ooh, nice. I like the reference. Okay. Who was nice and bought flowers and gifts and planned surprise dates and never followed girls on social media and how I dumped him because I was bored and went off to date men who literally abused and cheated on me, LMAO. Thinking about the time I left a man who would do anything to make me happy for a literal bum. When I had a boy that had loved me unconditionally since we were 13, flies across the country to surprise me, and after two years still supported me and worshipped me, and I let him down for a lying, cheating piece of shit. Hey, can I point something out? Mm hmm You don't see men posting L's like this. You know, like, seriously. When, when guys are like, I, I, uh, I, uh, I marry, or I, I had a, I had a girl, 13, she loved me, I was 13, we got married at, like, 21, and guess what? We've celebrated our 30th anniversary. You know, like, the men don't do shit yep. like this. Have you noticed? Uh... Like, they don't... They they don't leave. Okay, well maybe they do. I don't know, but I I have never. It, I no, I I don't. Comment. Well, they certainly don't. They certainly don't share it. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I, I have. Have we? Have you ever come across a tweet where a guy was like, "Yeah, I had a relationship with a a woman who loved me, and we had a great you know, we had a great relationship. She treated me good, made me sandwiches, you know, all of that." And then I left her for a, a thought with tattoos and a body count in the triple digits. <laughs> yeah I, I don't think i i've ever heard of that if you know i've heard of it guys in the comments just uh yeah post it I, I, i'm happy <laughs> to be wrong but i this particular l seems to be female only all right. I think it's ma definitely majority female. I'm starting to suspect there's not a male loneliness epidemic and it's more of a avoiding these evil bitches epidemic. This video was turning me into a misogynist. I always thought the woman leaving the night Welcome to the club. Sky for the bad boy and getting her heartbroken was a silly trope. Like, I knew it happened, but I didn't know it happened this much. L's all around. Throw these women in the pit. I hope these guys find women who appreciate their niceness because believe it or not, despite popular belief, most women do like that. I asked him how- Do like what? Right to jail, right away. Um, uh, yeah, sure, maybe. I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm, I, you know what? No, I'm not going with that. I'm not sure. I don't, I don't think women know what they want. <laughs> I, like, I think we've let them choose for like a hundred years and we're, it's a disaster. <laughs> It's time to start oppressing women, guys. Let's just let's just do it. Let's just oppress them. I, I mean, yeah. it's for their own good. <laughs> yeah, women were honest, still viewed like, as chattel. The only problem with that is it never really was a thing. But maybe no, maybe I'm, we should make it a thing. I don't know. I don't know. We could talk about it. Just pitch it. Yeah. Okay. All right, well, let's let's keep going. How tall he was, and he said, "I'm five, and I immediately hung the phone up. Turns out he's five eleven. How do I apologize? I rejected the sweet guy various times. Then a couple months later, he's dating someone new. Then once I got home, I cried. The time my prison pen pal came out of jail five oh, months God. and never spoke to me again after two years of telling me he loved me and wanted me to be in his life forever. What are you doing talking to men in prison? <laughs> what is it with? What is it with women and prison? violent felons? Like what? <laughs> prison is not. Oh man, you know, th that's not society saying you should be wanting to be with these men. Like, Ugh. like who the hell? Like most of these prisoners have an IQ of like eighty. <laughs> Good lord! Like why are well, you? Well, then what's her there? IQ? I mean, exactly. Who won in this scenario? He got what he wanted, I suppose. Yep. Okay, let's keep going. All right, a little bit more. I'm sorry, your what? Your prison pen pal? You're telling me the convict in jail was not a good person? Of all people? I left my husband because the sex was boring. Now I'm having the same problem with my new partner. There, there is a common factor here. He proposed, <laughs> aw, that's nice, to the girl he dated after me. 
Oh, I know we all let our- Hey, isn't that literally what happened to Pearl? I mean, not, not throwing shade at Pearl, but that was her story, was that like- I think that was like oh. part of her waking up, is that, yeah, she was dating a guy and then- I don't know. They broke up. I don't know the. I, I don't know the whole story. But like the next I'm, guy, I'm the sorry, next girl my, my, that guy dated, he married. So I'm sorry, my brain is just blanked out on this next tweet thing. I know we all let our dogs eat us out at least once. Oh yeah, the dog pill, man. I think I think that it gets it's getting dark now. There's not not a lot left here. How? So okay, all right. Let's let's keep going. Like, right. we'll, let's play it. I want to see our dogs react. eat us out at least once. I'm sorry, we. Us? Who is this us and we you speak of? One time I was riding a dude please and he stop, pressed my please. bladder so it ended up- Alright. What? Okay, no. Seriously. No. Dogs are supposed to occupy the same area of your brain as a child. Like, do you fuck children too? I'm pretty sure that's the case. Like, Daria you know, Ar the same as a child. Arge Asia Argento, is that you? Alright. <sighs> peeing all over him for a solid minute and after I said I'm claiming my territory. I pee in the shower so frequently that my feet are dyed yellow. I left my underwear on the bathroom floor after my shower the other day and now there's ants eating my discharge. I'm not- Oh god. You need to, uh, that, that, I, I'm pretty sure that that means you probably have your blood sugars too high. Hmm. Ugh. Well, there is that as well. Why am I going? Why am I doing? Why? Why am I going through this? Why? Like why? Okay, you know I what? I'm gonna make anymore. an executive decision. Let's go look at your tweet. This is getting too gross for me. There's one Who's more the clip drag? that Richard Bier put in. It's 24:30 to 24:35. Not so. showing this. Oh, we'll get to that one. Just dirty underwear with ants all over it. You know, growing up, I was always told like, oh, boys are the smelly, messy gender, and. I don't know about that. Confession. One time somebody nutted in my mouth. If you've ever worked in the restaurant business like I have and you've had to clean the bathroom, girls' bathroom is disgusting. It, it, it's, like, it's like a bomb went off compared to the men's. I don't know if it's because men are like they don't want other men knowing whatever. The worst thing you have in a men's bathroom is the toilet might be clogged. Um, but the women's bathroom, they'll be like, Shit smeared on the walls. I mean, it's it's a whole other level. And his semen was chewy. I held back tears. Oh God, this one made me gag. Whose L is this? Is this hers or the man's? I don't even. All right, yeah, that was just nasty. How All right, is let's let. Possible? Okay, we're done. We're done. No more. Yeah, I'm gonna stop up. there. Let's let's look at. Okay, I gotta oh, share you. a different because I'm looking at my Twitter, so that means it's or I could just read it. Too. So I thought, okay, I'm, I went out on a limb and I made a tweet um, where I just put it out there because I think this is true, okay? I said, ladies, if men had any intention of actually oppressing you, they would. And you wouldn't be able to do anything about it. But they don't. And it's really shitty that you live under the impression that they hate you enough to do it, much less that they do it now. Now, this is just a true statement. If men decided they were going to just oppress women, women would be oppressed. Like, women wouldn't be able to stop them. Like, at the end of the day, it comes down to force. The vote wouldn't matter. Like, your ability to, like, exercise power over the government wouldn't matter. Because at the end of the day, you would need men to do it. And if all the men, I'm just saying, like, I know this is not a likely scenario. And there's a good reason for it. But if men just decided tomorrow, today, now, they were like, women are oppressed now. We're not going to give them any rights. We're going to take away all their shit. It would just be done. Like, women would not be able to do anything about it. Full stop, period. Right? Because that's just, like, the nature of... If you look at... When you understand how the state works, you understand that the only, the only function of the state is force, and that force comes from men. And, the, yes, there are women police officers, but let's be real. If it comes down to it, and it's just men versus women, women lose. If, if it comes down to it, like, like literally, that's the truth. The, but, the, but the important part of this is that men won't do it. That's the, mo that's the important. Like, they wouldn't do it because they don't want to oppress women. That was the point okay, well, of my message. What? I, I'll, I'll reserve comment until you, you go through the whole thing. 
Like what? what, what I w- was well, that was that was the whole thing. Here, I'll share. I can share my thread because I got a lot, a lot of comments. So, do you see it? Yeah, I see it. Okay. Oh, so everybody, everybody is what? Yeah, that's pretty good for uh, for Pat Honey Badger Arcade. It's not a big channel. No, it's a it's a pretty small Twitter, but I got 51 comments. I got retweets, and I would say the overwhelming majority is people laughing at me and saying like that. You know, I'm just I'm just mad. Like, look, they're already trying. This is per- Periton, Terion, Terion. I don't know Periton. They're already trying, babe. All you got to do is scour Twitter for an hour to see all the dudes who want to repeal our rights to bodily autonomy and our right to vote. You know how many men on here advocate forced marriage so every dude gets a girl? And it's like. Yeah, but yeah, but it's not here's what's happening. What, that's not what's happening. This is what you're not getting. If men wanted to do it, it would be done. And there could be some men that are really angry and they're bitter and they're complaining and they're saying stuff like this. But the truth is, is that the only thing preventing that from happening to you is other men that don't want that to happen to you. Women, sorry, zero impact on this. Full stop. Except that men want to protect them. So like, well, that's- this is this is her telling me. I, I'm assuming this is a woman. I don't know, telling me that I'm the pathetic one because I don't recognize the oppression happening. And it's like, yeah, but here's the thing: it, do you want me to stop it? Because you're still appealing to me, a man, to do something. Like at the end of the day, everything that these women ask for, feminist or otherwise, it is coming from men. Like you have to appeal to men to get what you want in every in instance. That's unavoidable, right? Like, yeah, like it. There and so when you sit here and say men hate us, it's like no, because if we did, you would know it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like that's yeah. There would this be no is, question. There would there yeah. There would be, be no argument. question. No, you wouldn't be allowed to have an opinion on it. Like you wouldn't be talking about it. Look, I'd argue the only men looking to oppress women are trans women. No. No, trans women are just trying to like live a life. I think most of the time they're just like, well, I, I think that I'd be, I would be hated less if I did this. Right. Yeah. Um, women cry about the big bad or I don't know. You, you can look at it, but look at, look at this. You're young, huh? You have no idea what it's like to be told that women can't be litigators, judges and managing attorneys. Yeah. But Dude, like none of that matters. Like none of that matters. If everything falls, to, like if men just How old stop is showing. Person? Look, I don't know. I didn't. Like women they, were they, lawyers in the sixties. Yeah, but there but were lawyers if, even before then. Okay. Yeah, but uh, but it wouldn't matter, Allison. If men just quit today, all of that would be there. Would be no there. Would be no lawyers. There'd be no judges. There'd be no attorneys. Like it would be gone. We'd be like living in Mad Max, and the women would just be slaves. Like that's what would happen if. Like, if men just decided it was going to happen. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, it, because, like, all, everything that okay, we're doing me, me... in our modern world, everything that we do is something that we agree to do. It's all based in volunteerism. The law, you know, our, our politics, the way that we arrange our society. Oh, okay, yeah. It's all voluntary for the most part until it isn't. And so, like, if women are going to keep doing this shit, it's like it, men are okay. still putting up with it. Like, they're still putting up with it. All right, let me let me let me put let me put this I'll give my opinion on this. They have a particular framework in which men are the alpha and omega of society. In that framework, yes. Men determine whether or not you have rights. But that's a framework. If you step outside that framework, you realize that benefiting and providing for women is such an essential part of men's identity. That if you told men, you got to go harm what you consider to be your women, they may actually just prefer to kill themselves. And to say that men would do these horrible things to women is ignoring the psychological breaks that are put on men to doing these things to women. Like men define themselves by providing and protecting for women. Mm-hmm. Like that, that's how they define themselves. So to go against that is almost like a self-death for men, as far as I can tell. And I know guys yeah. are like, oh, I don't, I, I personally don't, you know, I'm not defined. But yeah, but that, but then you're not the average man. You know, the, and this is something that I had to contend with over years. Like 
because I am truly a misogynist, you know, I'm okay with the idea of just getting rid of all women and replacing them with sex bots. I don't care. Um, but I realized that men don't want to do that because they define themselves so deeply by providing and protecting for women. Right. So, but yeah. in the feminist framework, this will, there you're 100% right. The only thing that's stopping women from being subjugated is men. But here's the thing. Yeah. What is men? Men is defined by that which provides and protects for women. So in men may have a stranglehold on the physical aspects of society, but they're doing it for women, which is why this narrative works in the first place. Because, because men identify with providing and protecting for women they respond to a narrative in which they're told they're not doing it and what do they do yeah. they try to fix what this person has said is the problem like and so it's like you're 100 percent right within the feminist framework but when you step out of that framework you realize it's just not going to happen like that's you know women are not going to lose their rights in this society it's just not going to happen 100% I can tell you that that's not going to happen. I'm going to tell you what is going to happen. What's not? What do you mean right? what's not going to happen? That men are going to oppress women all of a sudden? No, that women, are, yeah, that it's not going to happen. Men are not going to oppress women all of a sudden. No, of course not. Yes, there no. will be arguments over when life begins. That's not oppression of women. What This is what's going to happen. The men of this society who have invested their identity in providing and protecting women in the way that this society presents that. So this society says you provide and protect for women by granting them rights and by basically caping for their, their own personal failings. That's how this society has structured men's identity in relation to their desire to protect and provide for women. To the moment that this society implodes, the majority of men in it will be continuing to try to protect and provide for women in the way that they're taught. Mm -hmm. But what's going to happen is that the rest of men will be so psychologically shut down and abused and terrorized by the narrative that men oppress women in this society, they won't be able to do anything at all. Okay? That, that yeah. this narrative is going to shut those men down. There will always be a minority that reacts negatively, but even the red pill guys still define themselves by being attractive to women. Mm -hmm. Like it, it, they don't get away from that. And they excuse women's bullshit by saying, well, that's just the way women are. You have to accept it, men. Okay. So they still define themselves by being attractive to women and they still excuse women's bullshit. So what's the difference? Yeah. Yep. Uh, the whole spectrum of men the response is red pill men we still care about women finding us desirable we still excuse their bullshit traditional men men are to blame we excuse women's bullshit we need to still protect and provide for women men in the middle i just want to make my woman happy men will do this till the end of our civilization mm -hmm. okay because that is how they think that they are protecting and providing for women. So what's actually going to happen is the narrative is going to shut down a critical mass of men who won't, will be basically paralyzed because they've been terrorized by this narrative. Our society will crunch and will cease to function. We'll either import too many freaking immigrant men because our men aren't functioning. And those immigrant men will have absolutely no loyalty to the society as it is or the women in it. OK, that is going to be a source of problems. The fact that we are we are basically hitting men's off switch in our society, making it impossible for them to continue. That's going to cause problems. But until this society implodes, the majority of men who are still operating in it, still capable of operating in it, will be still trying to give rights to people, women like Natty. Women who mm -hmm. turn around and spit on them and say they just want to oppress them. That's not how it's going to happen. Women are going to fail to invest in this society, which means it will fail to perpetuate itself. Men will fail to be able to understand their role in it. It's going to implode, and then it's going to be conquered by a society that gets that right. Yep. And it will so, be entirely... Uh, you better, better brush up on your Aramaic. <laughs> it'll be entirely yes. because... And this is what I've said to women. It'll be entirely because all of these women have such contempt for this society that has given them and the men in it 
that have given them the most amount of freedom and the ability to pursue whatever it is that they want to do, right? They have contempt for it. They continue to call it a horrible patriarchy in which they're horribly oppressed and treat the men in it with contempt. Well, if you have no investment in this society, you don't even want to incentivize its existence. Guess what, ladies? What you don't incentivize ceases to exist. And that's what's going to happen. Men are never, in this society, men are never going to go away, go, go against how they've been told to benefit women. Never. Right. That's, that He'll was the point of my post. Code. The point He'll of my post implode. is if, if, if you, like, if you really think the fact that you believe that men could or would or do oppress you right now shows just how absolutely naive you are because if they wanted to do it it would be done and the tr it would be done it would be done in an instant and you couldn't do anything about it at all period no vote no nothing no guns none of it would matter you would just be oppressed period full stop but men don't want to do it they don't so they, they so they don't, don't do, do it. it they want to they want to they not only do they not want to do it they want to try to help you like you know it's like a it's like a nurse like dealing with like a really fussy person in an old folks home that's constantly asking them to adjust the chair and adjust the pillows and bring them the painkillers and bring them like a, a drink and change the channel on the TV and raise the volume and lower the volume and like take them to the bathroom and, and wash their ass. Like this is literally what is happening and they're still saying you're doing this to me. <laughs> it's like, you ladies, you got to grow up. That's what it is. It, you got to grow up and realize that unfortunately you're in a, you're in an unfortunate position because you have to like understand that men could just choose to, to just like oppress you if they wanted to, but they don't, but that puts well, you in this in position. Their framework. Yeah. In, in their, their framework. framework. Right. But when I, when you step out of it where I am, I'm like, yeah, that's never going to happen. Like of it's far it's more likely that the men in our society will try to give us our rights and freedoms until they're br dying breath because mm -hmm. that's how they've identified themselves as men. Mm -hmm. right? that, yeah. That's more likely. And what will really happen is our ingratitude and contempt will lead them to be unable to maintain the structures that allow them to do that. And we, ladies, will have constructed our own hellscape. Through yep. believing shit like men oppress women. Yeah. Like, and, and it's, it's like, yeah, that's not like, I have absolutely no fear that the men of my society are going to oppress me. It's not what you need to fear. Yeah, of course they're not. Of course not. Anyway, yeah. that was it. That's the tweet. It's blowing up. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, like what, I don't know what a good ratio is, but I got 526 likes, 106 retweets and 56 comments. So I don't know what like, that you, means. You're getting about 5% likes per views. That's good. And 10% yeah. comments. I mean, that's a controversial tweet. So yeah, where are the views? I don't know. How do I look at how many views? Up, it's, up, oh, oh, up, one, okay. 11,000. Oh, yeah. yeah 11,000. There you go. Yeah. yeah that's pretty good. That's a good tweet. You, you did well. All right. So I did. I do have a thank uh, you. Uh, oh, yeah. Do, do the thank yous. All right. Well, I just have one thank you. Um, although it's a big one. So prepare your... Uh, Prepare your 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 holes for washing. I guess. All right. How did she How did she phrase that? Oh, the the, the wa these holes for washing, washing. Yeah, the, these, these holes for washing. Mm -hmm. Okay, prepare your holes for washing because Richard Pierre gave us a thousand dollars. So thank you, <gasps> Richard. Can I do the, the little, 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 little? Can I do that one? Yeah, I think I think that's okay. a little, little, little. That's a, it's a long one. So, red, 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 I don't know if yeah, I have I gotta, a sound that's good enough to match that. Yeah. So. Hopefully, la, 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 I can't even say that. So <laughs> that sound was good enough. Yeah, for um, sure. All right. So we got. Thank you. Songs. Come again. I actually think that we can't really go. Well, you know what? I could. Because we also got some songs from Le French. Oh, wait. You know what? We should probably say our piece now. Um, so if you've been enjoying this content, 
please help us out. Monthly fundraiser at feedthebadger.com slash support. Very much appreciated. If you're listening to this after, uh, you can send us a super chow at feedthebadger.com slash just the tip. Yeah, I remember. Feedthebadger.com slash just the tip. And if you want to join us in our community and enjoy the after shows, you can do so at feedthebadger.com slash subscribe. Very much appreciated. You got three ways to help us out. All of them, very much appreciated. Thank you. Thank you again to Richard Bier. Thank you to everybody who supported us with the Super Chows. We're going to go into the Beat Saber portion, so we're not actually going off anywhere. Right. We are still going to be here, but this is where we would sort of, you know, maybe cut it off. A dividing line i'm gonna unlist so, it right now and then like we'll come back to it later yeah, yeah exactly so but you know you might want to do your things as well and then we'll move into the beat saber version yeah so if you like Which this will video be available we'll be available yeah. to anybody who subscribes at feedthebadger.com slash subscribe so consider that yeah yeah, yeah. that's going to continue well should i play the should i play the outro then and then come back Oh, yeah, I'll do that. I'll play the yeah, outro sure, and then come that. back. Let's okay. The whole damn so if go yeah, we'll guys. just pretend like we're ending, but don't leave. So um, because we're gonna come right back in the same stream. I'm just gonna switch to the outro scene and then come back to the main uh, thing. All right. Well, anyway, if you guys like this video, please hit like, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Hit the bell for notifications. Leave us a com leave us a comment. Let us know what you guys think about what we discuss on the show today. And please, please, please share this video because sharing is caring. Thank you so much for coming on today's episode of the sort of remaining online fun raising the stream. Blob Zerker. The yeah. Blob Zerker. And, and we'll talk to you all in just a few moments. These are machines, dude. Okay. They are literal machines. They are talking point machines. They are impossible to fucking deal with. Especially if you have like, especially if you have like a, a couple dudes who have good memory on top of that too. Holy shit. You're fucked. True. it's it's over we're back oh okay we right. we Hi, are guys. back so welcome back um just from the outro. Like, share the screen whenever you get a chance this is the secret this is the secret like you know like um super mario brothers you get the secret level do, 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 do. we're in the secret level now we've just you know hit do, the block do, 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 just do, do, right or whatever do, do, do. yeah yeah or gone behind the curvy brushes I'm struggling with a word. It's a plant that's shaped. About? Bushes. Bushes. The bushes. Oh, the bushes. The bushes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sure. The grassy yeah. knoll. All right, let me put yeah, this on the in... screen. Drop that down. We're in the subterranean realm beneath the show. And you're with us, guys. You're with us. Yep. Okay, we are displaying the thing. So, um... Okay, here. I have to get over there. Yeah, uh, do oh, before we do that, uh -huh. we got to find some of the previous mm. songs i think they were sent through a while ago like last uh, time we did a fundraiser that was a while yeah, ago yeah there's like three songs that um uh, le french has requested that i need to okay get which through. ones I, I can find them i can scroll through the history and find them just tell me okay. just tell me which ones you're, right. are you doing the more the more recent ones first or what oh here they are there's two Okay, yeah, they're actually, um, I'm going to do the more recent one first. I think we have one slot, guys, so get one slot in. Um, actually, mm, honestly, I think I might only be able to do that. So I, I put it through um, Super Chow, in the Super Chow channel. Like, I gave you a link to the French's suggestions. Yeah, I see it. Um, I'm going to go Are now. we starting with those? Okay, no, go, we'll go. With, uh, we'll start with the new ones. All right, all so, right, all right. No, Smokey Joe gave us one. Great Indoors gave yep. us one. So we'll start. And uh, if you're out there and you want to do us to do one, please send in those requests really quick here. Really quick. Super All right. quick. Right now. All right, go. Um, Wait, did that just come through? No, that didn't. That was just, it was just a like glitching. All right. Uh, Matt. Yeah, you guys can see us, right? We're back. Don't prioritize my stuff. The French says, "Don't prioritize my stuff." So don't worry, we got it. Just, we got it. Yeah. I don't, don't uh, want to be here all afternoon. I want to 
I oh, actually have a me? I have a writers meeting to do in okay. a bit, so I'm probably like I, I don't I I also don't want to be here forever. Okay. So, um, no offense, guys, but uh, oh, also if you guys are interested, like you can join us in our writers meets if you become a patron as well at beatbadger.com slash subscribe. We're sort of trying to rediscover storytelling in this age of whatever the hell they think is storytelling, which really isn't. Oh, by the way, I actually, we've been watching Shogun. It is really good. Shogun's great. Yeah. And we actually I mean, watch... like, I, I like it a lot. That's good TV right there. Yeah, it is. It's not bad. Um, uh, what the hell is going on here? Hmm. <sighs> Okay. Somebody asked me if somebody replied to my tweet saying, did he pick you? Thinking I'm a woman, I guess. I'm like, mm. okay. Okay, Kara. That's nice. I love that, you know, you can just say that and it just changes the reality. Like, you're going to wake up one way or the other. It's either going to be like nice and easy and you're going to be able to ease into the truth or it's going to be really painful. Whatever one you want, I guess. I can't make you... But you can't fight reality. Reality is reality. So um, I'm going to see if this works. Like, they've changed everything on bsaver.com. I oh wonder boy. if this is going to work. They? Hmm. Yes. I'm, I'm trying to figure out if this is... Okay. I think this... Okay, I think this is going to work. I think it... I think... I think... Electric Light Orchestra... Uh... So the band is real. The song <laughs> is Lol. Sasaki. Sasaki. What? And then S A I Saisaki or some S A I S A. Oh, Saisaki. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I see it. Thank you, Smokey Joe. Thank you. Thank you. Come again for the request. Are you, are you getting the song? I don't hear any audio coming out of your thing, Allison. Okay, um, it's because it's making me define my play area again. Oh, I see. You're doing stuff with the options. That explains yeah. your Badger Chan moving around weird. All right, here we go. I think this is good. I wish I could show you my doggo. He's like curled up like a, a like a bagel on the couch. It's very cute. If you put him in a mocap suit, I'm sure that you could we can put him in your virtual world. <laughs> <laughs> you could turn him into like a little dragon. Oh okay. my god. Okay, so this isn't working really. Sai Saki. Real. Like real? Maybe I'll try the band. R E O L. Okay. Let's see if we can get that. R E no, not S. R E O L. Ten to one. That's not right. And endless line. Sa. Okay. I for some reason like they changed B Saber completely. So now the songs don't seem to want to come out the same way they did. Sasaki. Uh -oh. Yeah. Sorry, guys. You have to endure this. This is never this 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 part of the stream never S -A -I was anything. But... S A I. S A K I. Okay. Uh. S A I. Um, yeah, I got it. I, I got it. I got it through the search function. Thank you. Oh, so so you need Mr. Blue Sky, Great Indoors, ELO, Electric Light Orchestra. Yeah. Just give me a second. Just put here. in Mr. Yeah. You you well e you can get it. Okay. Uh Mr. Blue Sky. Yeah, these ones are There we go. Mr. Blue Sky. Here we go. <laughs> um let me make sure I get the right one. This is a really enlightening Root. tweet. It just shows you how like ill informed and low information the average person is on Twitter. Like, how many people are telling me they're being, they're being oppressed right now? You just don't know it. Like, no, actually, if they were, if we really wanted to do it, 
it would be done. Like there, you wouldn't be on Twitter complaining about it. Yeah. <laughs> like I mean, it, it's just it's so funny. Like it's so funny how absolutely delusional people are. And even the ones who agree, they're like, yeah, I agree. But like in the Middle East, it's like you're an idiot, dude. <laughs> you're like, okay. Is, these are all midwit takes. If <laughs> Just, men hated women in the Middle East, the women would be dying three times more often. Yeah, like it's, I'm saying, like they're, they just think they have something by saying my Middle East, my ancient history, my, my vote. It's like, these are all stupid. Like, dude, no. no I mean, like, in fact. Well, either, either men what? gave these things to women. They did. I'm saying. Well, yeah, but not all men. Like, not the uh, no, the but men like who enough, enough, and also not all women. Like most women didn't ask for it, and they specifically asked, "Yes, we do not want this thing." Well, the vote and, for sure, but yeah, but, go ahead. Uh, well, I mean, here's my point. Okay, it is almost impossible to change how you value yourself. Mm -hmm. But in their framework, they don't recognize that men value themselves by protecting and providing women. Even in the Middle East. Even in the Middle East, yes, men no matter where. Even, no matter in where. even in history. Even no. in history. Men define themselves by how well they protect and provide for women. Mm -hmm. This is the, the fundamental definition that they embrace. Right? The end. But in their yep. framework, because they cannot acknowledge this, because they actually rely on it by lying about it, that's the thing. They they have constructed this narrative, and they is the people who believe this shit. They have constructed this narrative about, about men that's a lie about men's nature, and it requires yeah. men's nature to be not what they say it is in order for it to work. Yes, right. They have to appeal to the thing that supposedly oppresses them to get what they want. I'm trying to get They the literally difference. have to appeal to it. And when you point that out, when you say, you know, this, you're only on here talking because men allow it. Um, and it, I mean, and I'm not even saying like they otherwise wouldn't or that they don't want to or whatever, because obviously they do. And they couldn't yeah. even imagine themselves not doing it. But the fact that you still think, in fact, actually a lot you of this still sounds like- the framework. You yeah, and there's a lot of projection going on because I get the feeling that if they ran things, they would be doing shit like this to men. That they, the, the stuff they claim men are trying to do to women. And I know this well, to yeah, be a fact because another tweet that I saw where um, there was a was this something like something about like the repeal of the 19th thing that was going around. Let me see if I can find it while you're playing this. Um, and I can I can actually say they aren't just they wouldn't just do it to men if they could. They are. Like, they're yeah. taking over men's hobbies to turn them, like, gaming, to turn it into a way of propagandizing their narrative. So they are taking over men's spaces in order to gain power over them. And they openly admit it. Like, this is not a conspiracy. This is, this is their stated goal, is to take yeah. over games to turn them into a means to um, propagandize their ideology. Yep. So they are already fucking doing this to men. Yep. Like there's no, they, they don't let men have their own space. They're like, oh, men would take away. Yeah, well, you don't even let men have their own space. And the fact is that if men had this much control, they would be protecting their space. You wouldn't be in it doing this shit. But also if men had the control, you say they would. Men wouldn't oppress women. Oh, they yeah. They would just get woke. They would just get sweet baby ink out of their games. Yeah, so here's <laughs> here's a tweet that I um, I reposted that sort of, like, shows another another angle on this. Yeah, I'm doing this. And I, I think it, it gives you, like, a bit of a peek into, like, the, the kind of dark heart of the uh, what women, like, think. So there's this... Oh, what's the next song? Let's do that. Because I, I I don't want this to go too long. So what's okay. next? Uh, song, uh, S -S Sasaki, I think. There's a, the, you did, no, you, I thought you did that one already. You haven't done Sasaki. that one yet? No, no, I, no, right. I did ELO. I did a ELO. Now we're doing three right. Sasaki. All right, now do Sasaki. Do it. Sasaki. All right, get your, get your requests in, please. All right, so um, I got this I think tweet. we can do one more. Okay. 
I got this tweet from someone, or I saw this tweet by this woman named Jamie Hanshaw, and she shares an image that shows uh, like a poll or something of women voters and that 53% um, of women support Joe Biden and 37% support Donald Trump, right, in the upcoming elections. Now, the politics don't matter, so let's not, let's not go there. But here's the thing that she said. She said, so you told women that you want to repeal their right to vote, and now you're mad that they don't side with you and vote the way you want them to. Y'all are funny. P.S. I've never voted because it's a scam, and democracy, as we know it, is a failed experiment. P.P.S. Gender wars are a massive psyop and it's doing exactly what is intended by splitting the vote. And it shows that most women, just because of like some people memeing on the internet about repeal the 19th or Roe v. Wade or whatever, they're like, yeah, we're gonna vote for Joe Biden now. Like we're just gonna vote against the interests of regular Americans because we're mad at like got our, our feelings hurt. And I reposted it and I said, so women would vote the country towards its own self-destruction purely out of spite sounds emotional <laughs> because it is and people like are are in my comments telling me that uh this is what women will do if you don't listen to them it's like so you're just gonna kill everybody because you're mad like i mean like the border is wide open you know the inflation is through the roof everything is shit shit's falling apart you know we can't we can't drill for oil uh, the fucking World Economic Forum is trying to put us in pods and you're gonna vote for that because you're mad. Because you're mad. This is like, I mean, I know it's not gonna happen. We're just gonna, if this is what women do, we're all just gonna go along with it because men, the last thing they wanna do is just straight up oppress women. Although that would solve this problem. Like literally, if they just decided, all the men were like, we're gonna do this thing now. If they did it, it would be done. But the thing is, that's just not the way men are, right? Um, well, it's not the way not they, do like, it. Men, a society sort of structures men's identity in terms of providing and protecting for women in a particular way. It is very rare for a man to be able to sort of overcome that. Um, mm -hmm. Which, you know, because it requires challenging some very basic instincts, right? So, um, so a society sort of captures that in men and turns it to the protection and provision of itself. Yeah, sure. And in a healthy society, that's, you know, you men and women are producing children and families, etc. They're getting what they need out of it. That's why it's a breeding colony, and that's all it is. Our societies are breeding colonies. When they stop mm -hmm. breeding, they collapse, period. Um, but, uh, sorry, like, this is just... Uh, talking no, and okay. doing this is always a little bit tricky. Um... What I was going to say is, let me try to recover it. I'm, I'm accessing the ROM. Uh... Well, anyway, I'm just po even Natty comments that she just t hashtag Project 2025, and I'm like, threaten me Tough with a good off. time. Like, don't threaten me with a good time because they're like you would basically you're saying it's okay that all this terrible shit is happening and that women will vote for more of it just out of spite just okay, out of spite it's like it's like the joke that the 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 um you know the uh stand-up comedians will tell where if uh if a woman is fighting with a man and he says don't fight with your girl in the car because she'll grab the wheel and take you both off a fucking bridge just out of spite like we're both gonna die because i'm mad at you right and it's like, don't prove the meme, but here you are proving the meme. Okay, okay. The, the 2025, I guarantee the reason why the conservatives have this kind of um, impetus is because they are opposing the trans lobby. Like, seriously. Is, I don't is, think, I, th I think it's just another way of protecting women. Yeah, exactly. It's That's protecting what I think women it is. from women. But from not, men the trans, not the trans women, like... I mean, like from all the other stuff, like the yeah, that's what I'm saying. They're, they're, this this impetus behind the 2025 thing is probably because uh, it's gender critical and it's against the trans lobby. Like the, they don't want the men in women's bathrooms, men as they define them in women's bathrooms, and there's a whole bunch of women who agree with them, and they they sure. are what they are pushing all of this because they feel threatened by trans women. And Natty is not even going to acknowledge any of that. But it doesn't, you know what, what her opinion is, is irrelevant. That's, 
I don't even know. We shouldn't bring her up because this is like. No, well, I'm I mean, just saying. I, I, I guess my point is, is it doesn't matter. Like, my point in that is that it doesn't matter, like, whether they are feminist women or not. Because I think this is the thing. Like, what this is exposing is that women lack. The women react to this. Mostly it's women that are, like, hating on me for saying this. They lack perspective in understanding where their position actually is in society. Like, they think that they are fighting a battle, and what is happening is men have rolled out the red carpet, and they're still, yeah. like, spitting on them, <laughs> you know? And I'm basically pointing out, look, you know, if we really wanted to, well, this according is what we to could them. do. Well, yeah. that's the thing. Like, I mean, when you say something like that, I'm like, yeah, but not really. And th th but those women are like, oh my god! But it's like, yeah, that's your framework. If you give men all the power in society, then in your framework, they determine what freedoms you have. Okay? Like that's it's a non-starter. Like if you have a more nuanced understanding of power in a human society, no, it's not true. But that's not the framework you exist within, ladies. You have decided that men oppress women. Therefore, all of the psychological fallout from that, you have also agreed to adopt, which is that men construct society in whatever way they want. Therefore, all of your freedoms are beholden to men, which is really ironic because these people like women, and this is going unlisted. I'm going to just put this out there. Women like Natty are going ape shit about how men are going to take their freedoms away. Well, yeah, and there is nothing you can do about it. Because you can't even appeal to them. You've already decided that men hate you and are your enemy. Well, thank... Enjoy your miserable fucking view of the world. It's completely well, but, wrong, but enjoy but, it. But my but my point is, is actually that... Panic it's attack. It's true. No, my point is that it's true. Men could. They could. But they don't want to. Like, that. this is the thing. Like, that... The most important thing is that they don't want to, but do they have the means? Do they have the power? Yes, absolutely. With like, like, absolute, like, it's, the, it's not even debatable. Like, men can just do what they wanted to do to women, but they don't because they don't want to. You know? What's wrong? Stop! Your dog's barking. It's fine. 420 blaze it. Hey, sorry about that. Barking. Yeah, I know. I, I heard. <sighs> I have to train him not to bark at other dogs, not to react to them. <sighs> Sorry about screaming. It's all right. <sighs> you have to start over? Yeah, I got to start over. Okay, so I'm doing Panic Station, which was one of uh, Le French's, and uh, we just don't have anything else to do. And it's going to be the last thing. All right, then. <sighs> That's fine. Sorry, guys. <sighs> All right. Uh, is this still going? Why is it? Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay. I was like wondering if there was a problem with. How long is this song? Seven minutes. Holy crap, dude. I think that's yeah, going to be tiring. Yeah, and I probably am going to have to rely on the hope that I get in the top 100. Yeah. Sounds like it. Yeah. It's a difficult song. And I'm saying, like, I don't, I don't agree. I don't think men could do it, ultimately. And the reason why I don't agree, I mean, like, theoretically, if you could completely change their identities, sure. Maybe. 
I'm not. I'm not. Okay, I'm saying that they have the, they have the physical capacity, but I don't think they like. I don't think they could. I don't think they have it in them. Well, yeah, because to do because it. they, they are their identities are based on protecting and providing for women. Yeah, and I think it buys into it. This whole narrative is to deny that, and I'm not saying that you know, like I'm not saying that's a good thing. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. It's just a thing. Mm-hmm. It's a thing that I had to, like, just make peace with. Yeah. Because you know that old Al Bundy quote, women understand women and they hate them? Yeah. Sorry. No, that's okay. This is a bit of a physical challenge. Anyway. Yeah, I know you gotta focus on that. Okay, no. Um. What? No, that's not, I mean, that's basically all I wanted to say. It's just, yeah, if men could totally change their identities, they could probably do it. Mm-hmm. But the very thing that these women appeal to is what's preventing them. While they lie about it. Which is what's really infuriating. It's a lie. Yeah. Sure. Because here's the thing, what would have to happen is that all men would have to change their identities overnight because otherwise any man who changes his identity would be up against all of the other men whose identity is based on providing and protecting for women. Right? Mm -hmm. So you'd have to overnight have a majority of men change their identity. Because if you think about it, this is the one thing that men can't really do. Because if you go to war at the people who are responsible for your future generations, you're basically committing suicide. Mm hmm Good lord. What? It's just a fucking a song. Horn. The French says that's it. not Panic Station. I don't know. Like, is that not the song that you this is just not the just, song. just finish it? You already started it. You're almost at yeah, the but end. There's another three minutes. Well, I mean, if you pick the wrong thing, was it oh, on his is, list? Oh no, it isn't. Okay, sorry, I fucked up. Okay, it's Panic oh my God. Station. This one. Three minutes. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. It's slightly different in terms of tone. Yeah. Good. This is less painful. Sorry, I don't want to continue it because that was, um, you know, it's it's a very strenuous song. Mm -hmm. I just wanted people to, I just want women to realize that it's not going to come from men uh, taking away their rights. It's going to simply become from them abusing the men who are trying to give them their rights and maintain their rights to the point where those men are incapable of continuing to do so. That's what's going to happen. Women yeah, but I wasn't are, making a prediction. I was making a statement that was refuting the ridiculous premise 
that yeah. women and feminists have set up. I'm just saying yeah. this is ridiculous and here's why. I wasn't saying this is what will happen because it will never happen because men wouldn't do that. That's yeah. my whole point. But I want women to realize that the way you're going to lose your rights is because you are part of a society in which the men in that society are invested in giving you their... Oh, fucking goddamn... Hold on Sorry. a second. Somebody's at my door. <sighs> I think I just permanently fucked up this song. Damn it. Um. Well, just tell yeah, me I'm when back. you get... Okay, good. Who was it? Out of curiosity. No, nobody. I, I was hearing things. I thought I heard somebody at the door, but it was nobody. Oh, my, my bad. Oh, it's people upstairs that's thumping around. So oh, okay. it, it sounded like something. It was, uh, now I hear them. People up, I'm, just, I'm wearing headphones, so, you uh, know. It just sounds weird. Okay, gotcha. Well, what I was going to say is this. Um, I want women to realize that the way they're going to lose their rights is that the men who are upholding them, who are building the society and maintaining the society that upholds them, they're essentially going to be abused into a state of inability. It's not even going to be a conscious decision for most men. They're just not going to be able to continue because the women of their society are abusing the crap out of them. And essentially, like women in our society, they're like, oh, wow, that we've, you've constructed this world in which we have our rights. Here. Let us stand up on the ramparts and shoot you full of arrows. Mm -hmm. <sighs> like, they, it's literally going to be because women just constructed a situation in which men cannot continue to maintain the society as it is. And it won't be because uh, out of, out of, uh, out of uh, willingness to, uh, to continue to do so. What will happen is that as far as they can, men will continue to try to maintain the society that they think provides and protects for women best women will continue to abuse the crap out of them with these stupid narratives about how men oppress women and eventually everything will shut down because men just won't be able to continue the confusion will become too great oh you're constructing a society that oppresses us well do you want us to continue to construct the society or not and the confusion will just shut men down and then we'll just be yeah. taken over by a society that doesn't do the stupid shit yeah <laughs> And it will never be a situation in which men take away women's rights. If, no. they, if there was a point at which men were going to take away women's rights, it would have been at the point when women were saying, don't give us these rights. Like, mm -hmm. most women were like, yeah, we, no, don't do this, guys. Don't do it. Don't, don't give women the vote. Just don't do it. Let it go. Don't listen to the fucking terrorists. Listen to us. And the men were like, but what if we did give you the right to vote? And women were like, don't do it. And like, but what if we did? What do you think? Yeah. What What do you think? And then women are like, don't. Just just step away. Let it go. Don't listen to them. But we did it. Okay? That's how it went. And if, it, if there was any moment at which men were going to oppose this process, it would have been then. When the majority of women were telling them to do it. At this point, the majority of women are like, Oh my god, you oppress us horribly, how dare you? So it's not going to happen. Alright, yeah. is that the last song? Yeah, I think so. Well, I mean, the French has another song, but I gotta get going, right? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. I gotta get going, too. Alright, so we both gotta get going? Yeah, do the thank you. Is there any last thank yous? And then we'll okay, end it. I will go over and do the thank yous, and then I'm going to call it a day. And, uh, all right. All right. Be right back. All right. All right. See you in a bit. Let's see here. Um, uh, have you reacted to shoes part two video on men being attacked by feminists? No. How recent is that? Nova fan. I'll look it up. I guess. I, I think I unsubscribed because I unsubscribed from, from a bunch of channels. I did like a purge. So it's nothing personal against shoe, but I'm just kind of like, the conversation is not as interesting anymore, and I'm kind of like moving towards different things a little bit, so 
I unscri- unsubbed from Shu out of boredom. Yeah. Um, well, so. she, I mean, she has her own things that she's up to. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's fine. Like, I don't have anything against it. I'm just saying, like, All right, we got, I don't uh, know that she's got another video out. Uh, $25 from Sleepy Aussie. So thank you, Sleepy Thank you. Aussie. Excellent. And um, just waiting on the other two that we did. Uh, but other than that, we're all... We're all good. I think that's probably going to be it for. I mean, if you guys, if the if the two of you who put who put on songs get something in, I'll in the next few seconds I can give you a shout out. Otherwise, I think that's it. All right. Okay, sounds good. Yep. Okay. Um. So thank then you, I guess we'll wrap it up. Yep. Indeed. Yes. Thank you to Richard Beer. Thank you to Sleepy Aussie. Thank you to everybody who sent uh, super chows through. Thank you to Quran or to the Great Indoors. He's always. Uh, he's always helping us out. So thank you. Thank you, everybody. And thank you to the French for giving me those extra songs that I could do while we're doing nothing else. Sorry I did the wrong one for like four minutes and killed myself. Yeah. Um, but we got there in the end, so it's all good. All right. So if you're right. listening to this, please consider supporting us at feedthebadger.com slash support. And since this is going to go unlisted, I don't know if we need to really say anything more, but I'll hand it back. No. To you. All right. Oh. Ooh, sorry. Thanks, guys, for coming on the stream, and have a good rest of your Sunday. Talk to you later. These are machines, dude, okay? They are literal machines. They are talking point machines. They are impossible to fucking deal with, especially if you have, like, especially if you have, like, a, a couple dudes who have good memory on top of that, too. Holy shit, you're fucked.